Hey there, sugar bunnies. Welcome back to another live stream blind bag unboxing and international giveaway. Um, it is a nice sunny day here today, so um, it's looking like it's going to be a good weekend. Hopefully not too hot. Um, I decided maybe we'd start out with a would you rather question. So um, I am going through the comments on the videos when I had you guys write some. So let's see. Um, <laughs> there's a couple really good ones here. So let's see. Um, would you rather eat a frog or eat a slug? What would you guys rather do? Would you rather eat a frog or eat a slug? A frog? <laughs> um, I think I'd rather eat a slug. Ooh, deep fried frog. Oh, I see him at the fairs, the frog's legs, and I'm just like, no, that's not for me. I actually won't even eat at the place that that fries them. Like, I won't, I like the zucchini at the fairs, but I won't eat at any place that has the deep fried frog because I know they fry it in the same oil and it grosses me out. So, um, yeah, I would rather eat a slug because they're a lot smaller and I could probably just swallow it without even chewing it, but a frog is much bigger and it's got bones. So, I would rather eat a slug. So, that's an interesting way to start a stream, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Judge of what is my queen said. Um, because you swallow it. Mm -hmm. I said, would you would you rather eat a slug last time? Oh, did I? Did I do this one? Okay, well, I guess I like that one then. Okay, let's see. Let me get another one. Oh, here's a good one. Because I know a lot of you guys, I, I think I know this answer to a lot of them because I think a lot of you guys are more her fans than her fans. So, would you rather meet Cookie Swirl C or Jojo Siwa? I think I know the answer to this one for a lot of you guys, especially since she's right there in your name. Um, I think that you guys would rather meet Jojo Siwa. Yeah, yep, I see Jojo Siwa for a lot of you guys. Um, that's a tough one for me. I'd like to meet them both for different reasons, but guys, don't get mad at me. I think I'd probably rather meet Cookie Swirl C. Because we do this, we like the same kind of things. Jojo C was not so much into toys and stuff. She's like, she's a dancer. I'm not a dancer. So there's like different reasons why I'd rather meet Cookie Swirl C than Jojo Siwa. I think that me and Cookie Swirl C could carry on a conversation better than me and Jojo. So I still like Jojo, but I just think that Jojo would be better for someone who likes to sing and dance and is really super, super outgoing. And I'm outgoing, but I like to do the toys, and that's what Cookie Swirl C does too. So. Um, yeah, but um, Jojo, 100% all the way. Yeah, I see. I see one person. Amelia says Cookie Swirl C, and Amalia does too. Oh no, Faith broke her toe. You know what? Which toe? I don't know what they do for toes. Do they just put like a little popsicle stick and wrap it, and then that's it? Because I've heard they can't do very much for broken toes. They just kind of like do that, and then just say it'll heal on its own. Like legs and stuff, they'll put in a cast and arms, but just toes, they just don't do very much for. That's a bummer. I've never had a broken bone. Oh no, likes big bows. It's almost time for work. I did work this morning. That's why I was a little bit later on this than normal. So, um, yeah. Savannah Corn's done dance all their life, so they'd pick JoJo. So, oh no, fried my skin with an iron yesterday. Oh, I can't remember if I've ever burnt myself with an iron, but I did burn myself with steam. I was steaming broccoli and I lifted the lid and the steam got me and it burned me pretty good. Right on my hand, I don't have a scar from it though. So, um, hi there Kika's world. So, um, we've got these 10 blind bags today. Um, you guys voted and picked, um, I believe, five of them. I drew out five that I thought looked fun and I wanted to open. And then I've got 10 new prizes to show you guys. Um, so, we'll go ahead and get started. Which blind bag would you guys like to see first? Hello, Elizabeth. Which ones did I pick? Um, I picked the LOL, I picked the Surprisimals, I picked the Zero Five Surprise, the Bananas, and the Barbie. Um, Sweet Orchard Farm one, which is the new one that I was telling you guys about on my um, Tuesday live stream that they had a new one and I saw that and I want to open it because they have bunnies and I'm dying to know if I got the bunnies. So I definitely will be getting more if I don't. 
All right, so I see the five surprise is the first one. So this is always super popular. So the Zero Five Surprise, this is a Series 1 ball, the blue. Um, it went away for a little while in the stores, and then it came back. So um, they have the Mini Surprise 5 brands, uh, or 5 Surprise Mini brands, blah. Um, and I had found a couple, and they weren't like hard to find, and all of a sudden they are. They don't have any more, but they still have the blue ones and the pink ones. I've never seen a purple one. They've never had them here, so I don't know if it just skipped over that or what, but we got a zipper to open. So we'll see what we got. This one is like the boy one, as you could see by the pictures, or they depict it as being like the boy one. It's got a super thick wrapper. But, oh no, it's gonna be stubborn. I've opened up a couple of these before, but back when I was in California, I haven't opened up any of these since I've been here. Not the blue one. I have to, I have to cut it a little bit because it's being very, very difficult. So hopefully I think I've got it started. Maybe, maybe not. All right. We need an opening, guys. I think I got it. Even if it's just a little bit. Oh no. No, no, no. All right. Oh, okay, here we go. Yes, yes, all right. Points for not being able to get into the toy. Good job, Suru. Made it invincible. Okay. Almost, but there's a second one. Good thing is the second one is not as difficult as the first. So we'll go around. Where does it start? Okay, there. Let's get it on a flat spot though. All right, here we go. See, that one was so much easier. And we'll take our trash away. Okay, so um, there's two different sides, the top bottom, and just pull that off really easy. Opens up like when you cut an orange or an apple. And there's two big sides. These two, one of them will have the checklist. Might be this one. It is. So I've got a basketball bouncy ball. That's my first surprise. So pretty cute. There we go. Um, maybe it will not roll away there. No, it's still wanting to go. All right, that's enough. That's good enough. So we've got our checklist. We'll have a look at that right after. And our next one. Um, I, I just read something. Um, I dare you to pick your foot. I'm missing a conversation, but feet are really, really gross, guys. I have like a phobia of feet. Um, I don't know. But uh, here's some stickers. I don't know if they're glow in the dark. I think they might be by the way they look. So we've got like this race car that's like, I don't know. I don't know what you'd call that. It's fierce, a fierce race car. Uh, and then a zombie and a pirate kind of themed one. Skull and, not crossbones, but it's cross swords, but he's on fire. So we've got those three stickers in our next little section. Ooh, we've got some silly bands. So these are like those little bracelets that are different shapes. I've got some of these in the girls, the girl ones. They run a little small too, kind of too small for me. And I still have small, I have small wrists, but the girl wants to, oh no, mine is broken, why? Oh, that's a bummer, because I think it's like a dinosaur, yeah. Mine was a dinosaur, but now it's just broken. That's a bummer, okay, well, they are like kind of sticking to each other too, so if you get them, just be real careful, but I think that still would have pulled apart and broke if you'd like tried to put it on as a bracelet. And I think this is a stegosaurus. Let me see, It'll twist and undo, what are you? Sometimes these are like really difficult to get to make the actual shape. I'm just not sure. I think it's another dinosaur. I think that's the tail. I think maybe it's like a stegosaurus or a triceratops. 
maybe I don't know so yeah these are like yeah kind of iffy for me all right this is a scorpion I think scorpions are not very fun I will never have a scorpion as a pet and I don't know guys a worm <laughs> is this a worm is that all it is Maybe like this? No, it's got to be feet. It's got to be like some kind of like bug. So I don't know. Um, let's see. Um, another dinosaur. I think this is a Velociraptor. You can see that. There you go. So there's five bracelets, but <laughs> eh. So I've seen better ones, but I've also seen worse ones. So. Here's our next little section. Oh, I love these. Okay, these are like little like gag gifts, like, or not gag gifts, but like gags, like trick someone. So these are supposed to look like maggots and they look really, really good like maggots. They're little, they're a bit bigger than real ones, but, um, or larva, they could be larva. But I seriously think these would trick someone. These really, really would trick someone if you put them on their food. Um, these are just they're really good so this I think this is like totally worth it <laughs> because I do want to do this to a few people just to, to freak them out April 1st would be like the perfect day for this but um, yeah so oh yeah and today is May 4th and I saw you guys are actually um, actually had mentioned it but it's uh, the fourth May the fourth be with you for Star Star Wars Ooh, I think this is my no I think I got one of these before so I think this is my first time getting it but there and there's his eyeballs popping out so like a crazy zombie dog it's got some brains exposed the collar and everything is wrinkly so it's interesting I don't know if these are yeah these are just solid so they're not like filled with air it just pops out so zombie dog so that's what came in the five surprise I got a zombie dog the bouncy ball some stickers the bracelets and then those um larva or worms or whatever but we'll have a quick look through the checklist <laughs> you and your mom got grossed out by it these they look real like i've i've had them in my house before like if you get one fly in your house and you go to bed and they get into your trash can they will lay little larvas and i had them all over the floor and i was really grossed out really grossed out but um, you can see them like around trash cans I got in public too. It was just gross. So you get skateboards, cars, sea creatures. I've gotten um, some of the sharks, dinos. I can't remember if I've gotten any of those. For some reason, I don't think so. Insects. I did get one. I think I got a scorpion or a spider, but definitely not the slug or the pincher bug. Poop gang. Never got one of those. Zombie dogs. I have got one of those. Today I got the brown one, top center. Um, glowing zombies. Uh, I have got one of those before. Um, squishies and squeezers, which they're like little octopus, and I have got one of those. Super balls. I've gotten, I think, the baseball and now the basketball. Soldiers. I think I got one of those. Ninjas. I have gotten a couple of those, and they have suction cups on them, so you can stick them on glass or like a mirror. The key pens. No, I have not. Then you can get silly band stickers and prank toys. And yeah, prank toys. That's someone I got and I did get the stickers and silly band. So I've got three of those things right there. So that's what we've got inside there and that is a five surprise. So I will show you guys one of the prizes that I have that I'll be putting in there so you guys can choose. So it's lip gloss, so cupcake lip gloss and they're shimmery. So each one is shaped like a little cupcake. It's got a textured cupcake liner, which I love. I love like little things like that. The details are really cool. And then um, the top one's super sparkly, but um, there's like a pink bottom, green bottom, purple bottom, and blue bottom, and then the lip gloss inside is different. But yeah, that top one's super, super sparkly and shimmery, but the rest are all iridescent and shimmery. That one's like the most. So, And I thought it was cute, because like it's got a little bunny with the wings, and I love it. It's so cute. So that will be going in there for you guys. So we are on to our first three questions. Oh, I see Amelia Brett says there was a live event in Fortnite, but it wouldn't work and the volcano erupted. Yes, um, there was an event. I actually did see it already. Um, so yeah, they destroyed a couple places. I don't know if anybody wants me to spoil it for them, but yeah, the volcano erupted and it um, destroyed some things. 
But you also go into a um, the vault and everybody goes and hits like the column with a weapon inside of it and it's basically like a vote, whatever column fills up first, I think they're bringing that weapon back. So um, when I saw it, they had the, um, the people had all voted on the Tommy gun, so I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. They had the sword in there too, and I was hoping that one would come back because that was fun to play with at least. So, all right, here's our first three questions, guys. Uh, question number one. How many LOL Surprise Series 2 Little Sisters are napping in Wave 2? And this was actually on my website. Hello, Anjali Nanda, and she says, Happy May. Yes, Happy May. This is our first live stream since May. So the question once again was, how many LOL Surprise Series 2 Little Sisters are napping in Wave 2? <laughs> Alright, so I see some that are pretty close. And this is one of the questions that was on my website. So I see one, but I'm waiting for another one to come in. So again, the question is, how many LOL Surprise Series 2 Little Sisters are napping in Wave 2? Let me see if I've got another one yet. <laughs> 85, that would be a lot. They don't have 85 um, dolls in there. Oh, no, there's more than zero. There are definitely some dolls napping. Wow, I've only got one so far, so... I'll give it a few more seconds, let's see. We'll say it's higher, it's higher than 11. It's higher than 11, less than 19. <laughs> higher than 11, less than 19. Higher than 12, less than 18. All right, so I've got two now, all right. So the first person, let me scroll all the way back up here. The correct answer is 17, and I'll show you guys. So the first one was Brenda Garcia. And there you go. So yeah, um, my website, www.sugarbunnyhops.com. If you click on the um, drop down menu, go to live streams. And then scroll down every day I'll add two new questions and this is one of those that was on there so after Brenda there was a lot of answers a lot a lot but then the next one that said 17 was Anjali Nanda A-N-G-A-L-I-N-A-N-D-A -A -A. there you go All right can I write that down real quick and I'll show you guys. So I did post to um, my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, which checklist you guys would need. And it was this one and then the Bling series. So it's the series two checklist, like the Little Sisters is on one side, the Big Sisters is on the other, and then the Bling series. So we've got one, two, three, four. These are hiding, so they don't count. They are in that one. So um, we're on four, one, two, three, four. Wait, no, one, two, yeah, one, two, three, four. They put it up and down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. So that is the full checklist and all the ones that were hiding in wave two. So they're, or napping, I'm sorry. So these ones are hiding and that meant that they were in the big sister ball rather than the little tiny ones individually. They came together. So. Here we go with question number two. Um, here we go. In what movie does someone say the line, clever girl? So it's like a very, very particular movie. Um, <laughs> you, guys should, you guys should know this. I think a lot of people love this movie. So, um, oh, okay, if you guys don't have checklists too, um, on the LOL Surprise website, they have them on there, so you can find every single checklist that they've ever had and either have it in an open tab or just study it, I'm not sure. But some of my questions are on the website. So, um, let's see. In what movie does someone say the line, clever girl? 
<laughs> I see a couple people got it. I see a couple people got it. So the correct answer is Jurassic Park. So when the Velociraptors were about to get the guy, I don't remember his name, um, they surrounded him and he said clever girl and then they got him. So um, yeah, Jurassic Park and likes big bows was the first one. They have all kinds of memes of that. All kinds of stuff. Likes big bows. And then the next one, I see Aladdin a lot. And uh, Moana. <laughs> Someone says, I love that movie. Yep. So like big, likes big bows. Definitely knew it. And then the next one was Kylie Sparkles. So Kylie Sparkles. And there you are. So next question. And this one was on my website. In the game Fortnite, what do you jump out of at the beginning of a match? So what's the name for it? So not just like what it is, but what the name is, what, what it's called. So in the game Fortnite, what do you jump out of at the beginning of a match? <laughs> All right, so I see a few. All right. Um, Oh no, you guys haven't seen Jurassic Park? No, that's a classic. You've got to see it. You've got to see it. It's a good movie. Make sure it's okay with your parents, but it's a good movie. So the correct answer for this question, uh, question once again was, in the game Fortnite, what do you jump out of at the beginning of a match? Like what was the name for it? The correct answer is the battle bus. So the first one to get battle bus was Jojo Siwa is my queen. It is the Battle Bus. They actually had that in the um, um, YouTube Rewind, so. And the next one is, I see Flying Bus, but it's called the Battle Bus, so that's what I was looking for. And I see Savannah Corn said a school bus, the Battle Bus. After that was Brenda Garcia, and then I see Ella Thibet said bus, and then Madeline Darling said Battle Bus, and then Amalia said the Battle Bus, but that next one was, let me go back, was Savannah Corin. And there you are. All right, so that is our three questions. We're going on to our next blind bag, so which one shall it be? <laughs> Likes Big Bows has watched Jurassic Park so many times that her kids complain about it. I used to watch it a lot. And it was really, really good for its time. Like, the graphics, the animation and everything. Um, that was really, it was really good. It didn't look very fake at all. Um, they did, like I said, they did a really good job. So, um, let's see, let's see. Yeah, a lot of people, not everybody plays Fortnite, but even then, um, I know that they had like commercials and toys and stuff, so at some point, they even had a huge display at Walmart at one time um, when they were selling a lot of the Fortnite stuff, so I figured maybe, and plus it was on my website, but yeah, I figured probably people would see it or know it, or even have a brother or someone in the family that plays it, so. Alright, the next one, let's see, My Little Pony. Alright, so My Little Pony, the Masham. So, I opened one of these, there it goes, <laughs> I opened one of these, um, I think in the last Saturday's live stream, pretty sure, but I went to Walmart and they had stuff that they had found like in the back that they were like putting out, and um, so I found some more of these, so I grabbed them. So um, in there, if you have happened to find them, they have the little hole right there, and over here on this side too, and so I did move it around, and I believe in this bag I should have Rainbow Dash. I did get Princess Luna, which is the one I'd wanted in another bag, so um, I just grabbed a few this time. But this one I believe is Rainbow Dash, so we will see um, if it is. And these are by the Mashems. You know Mashems aren't like, they're not my favorite, but um, yeah, I just, it, it was odd that these are the same people that make the um, the Mashems toys that make these squishies, but they're marshmallows. Slow foam squishy, and it's series one. So, 
and I figured out there was a way right here to open them. I know I cut it before. I don't know if I'll be able to open it, but definitely going to try. It's not working, so we are just going to cut it. Which side? We'll get on this side. We'll keep Rainbow Dash's picture on there. All right, that looks like some rainbow hair, doesn't it? So it is Rainbow Dash. She looks kind of chubby. Her eyes are a little bit off. Like they're at different heights. And the hair is just like okay. It's like not not super painted very well. It's overlapping here. I don't know. And then the sticker for the key to mark, it looks a little bit more yellow. But you can see where it's shiny. And it's like, I don't know, is it crooked or not? What would you consider that? To me it's a little crooked and her tail doesn't have all the colors. So not super impressed. I mean it's a little squishy and it's the My Little Pony, but I honestly think it could have been made a little bit better. So I've seen ones from like the Dollar Tree that were like better. Oh look, her eye is coming off. So that's a bummer. Let me see, can I push it back? Maybe. It's still gonna it's still gonna be an issue. I think. Maybe. Yeah, it will be. But that like I said, that is a bummer. So, uh, I don't know. We can get better squishies, especially since these were like $6 originally. So, yeah, I mean, I like slow rise too. So, it's all a matter of opinion. You might love these. For me, I expect I expect a lot. So, the eyeball is continuously coming off and I could literally probably peel it off. I don't want to, but yeah, I could continue peeling it off. So, it probably will need a little bit of glue to stay on there. So, I'll figure something out, but Eyes are crooked too. It's almost like the um, what is that pony? I can't remember. Uh, oh, it's like gray with yellow hair. It's like derpy. Is it derpy? Yeah, not the best. So, yep. All right, but that is what I got. I guessed right though, so that's good if you're looking for just one particular one that you want. But we are on to the prize. Um. Everybody likes the chapsticks or the lip glosses, whatever you want to call them. So here's another one. I've had this one before, but I found some more. So birthday cake lip balm and flavored lip balm. So there you go. Really cute. It's popular. You guys really like that one. So, um, oh, Derpy. See, I knew it was Derpy. Thanks, guys. Um, Kika's World would like to ask me a question. Yes, go ahead, Kika's World. Ask me the question. We will wait. We will wait here with our squishy. Yeah, it's not. It's just not the best one. But I still like Rainbow Dash. She's definitely in my top five favorite. Because I like the colors. That eyeball is bugging me so much. Oh, Amalia says she has this one. I don't remember all of them that came in the series. There was like no box. It was just always tossed in one of the bins there. But um... I know that they have Princess Luna, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they've got like the main six, like Twilight Sparkle, Pinkie Pie, Applejack Rarity, Rainbow Dash, and Fluttershy, but then I think they had like two more that were different, so Princess Luna was one, and they might have like Princess Cadence or Princess Celestia, or they might have all three of those, so there we go. Um, oh, I really like your drawing, Kika. So she asked, what do you think about the drawing that you posted? I really, really liked it. I was just really busy. I did like the picture, but I just didn't write about it yet. So yeah, you did a really good job. I know you said you said it's not your best, but I think it's really good. So really good. All right. So we are on to our next three questions. So here we go. Which Disney princess has a friend chameleon? Which Disney princess has a friend chameleon? Oh no, likes big bows has got to go to work. Oh, work's a bummer. I did some work this morning and I'll probably do some work after the stream too. But thank you for coming. And then yeah, you get um, even if you don't win today, then I still save them all for the um, end of the month drawing too. So no worries. All right, I see a lot of people with the answer. So the correct answer for that is Rapunzel. Rapunzel is the Disney princess that has a friend chameleon named Pascal. I actually opened up some of those Kinder Joys that had Pascal in it, so um, first one was Madeline Darling with Rapunzel. Madeline Darling. There you go. 
And the next one is Kika's World. And then Kika's World. Here you go. All right, next question. This one was on my website, guys. What United States president is pictured on the front of the dime? First and last name. And spelling because this one was on my site, so you guys had time to look it up. So, which United States president is pictured on the front of the dime? Oh, wow. You guys are quick with this one. So, the correct answer is Franklin Roosevelt. And the first one that I see, Joseph, see what is my queen, actually got the whole thing. So, great job there. Jojo Siwa is my queen. And that's number two for you. And then the next one after that was Madeline Darling. And there you are. That's number two. All right, so next question, guys. Which LOL Surprise Bling Series doll has a black broken heart on her shirt? So this is for the Bling Series checklist. Which LOL Surprise Bling Series doll has a black broken heart on her shirt? Who's Coco? Is Coco like a new doll? But no, there's no Coco on there. So which LOL surprise, Bling Series doll has a black broken heart on her shirt. And just because it's a broken heart doesn't mean that her name has heart in it. See a lot of people putting heartbreaker. Sorry guys, it's not heartbreaker. That's a different question that she's in. <laughs> All right, so which LOL surprise Bling Series doll has a black broken heart on her shirt? I see one, I see two. All right, so the correct answer is Troublemaker. I'm gonna double check just to make sure, but yep, I don't see any. The first one to come in there was Kylie Sparkles with Troublemaker. So they changed her outfit when they put her in the Bling Series. And that's two for you, Kylie. And after Kylie was... Jojo Siwa is my queen. Now you've got three. And I will show you. So here's that checklist. You can see nobody there's got it. Nobody there has got it. And look, right next to her is Heartbreaker, but she doesn't have a broken heart. That little thing right there is a little tiny broken heart on Troublemaker's shirt right there. So she is the only one with it. So attention to detail there. So it's really tiny. But um, yeah, there we go. So that was our third question, and we are on to a new blind bag. So which one shall it be? got Monster High, Bananas, Barbie, Sweet Orchard Farm, Moj Moj, the LOL Surprise Fashion Crush, Surprisimals, Captain Marvel, and Doctor Strange. I know which one I would like to open, but all right, I see the banana is next. So I opened up one of these before. It was a purple and blue one, and it had that same symbol on the back. So I believe this is the series two. I can't be positive, but um, I know they come in the bunches and those ones I can definitely tell you on because it says on it, but these were individual. They were up by the um, front at Walmart in the um, the check stands, like by the trading cards and stuff. So that's where you find like the individual ones, or at least at my Walmarts, so that's where you find them. So I haven't seen them back in the toys. I've only seen the bunches back in the toys. So the bananas, and I did see that in like the new series, they came out with a bunny. So the first time I got like a lizard or chameleon or something, I can't remember, but um, I did give that away. So 
we will see what I have inside this one. And I don't know for you guys if they have like hacks to these, like if there's only certain ones that come in the colors or if it's like certain themes that come in the colors or whatever, but yeah. I've only opened the one and then this one. But they do snap together, so I thought that was cute. You can make your own little bunches. And inside, oh, does it smell? Oh, it smells. I don't remember if I remembered that, but um, yeah, we've got three blind bags in there and a checklist. So, and this is really cute. I just like the banana itself. But here it is, and this is our little pet. So it's dark, so I don't think it's the same one as last time. So it's bananas all over. Ooh, it's cute. So it's a little elephant this time, and I love the colors. That is like Princess Luna color. So one eye is winking, and I'm gonna say you could probably, I wouldn't recommend it, but I just always feel like these are like water toys, like the little rubber duckies. That's what it feels like. So um, the little stuff on their face is really cute. So there's like this bluish purple color, and then the purple on his face, the pink, and that is for that, but we have a matching sticker to go with it as well. And there it is. And then we've got this blind bag, which I think has the two little charm things. Yeah, they're not charms, but they're little things, plus the stickers. They're like gem stickers. So we'll have a look at those real quick. Oh, one is on the back. No, it's just messed up. It's coming off of it. So it's a little hard to see, but it's a little blue heart, two green hearts, and then four little circles. So I don't know if you're supposed to decorate your creature with those, or your banana, or these things, but there you go, they're there for you to do whatever you like with. And this is, I don't know, it looks like a piece of pizza that turned into a bug or something. Or maybe it's like a, you know, it's like a watermelon slice. Okay, there we go. Like a watermelon slice, or a melon, some kind of melon, maybe like a honeydew cantaloupe. And then I did get one of these last time, it's a little banana. Critter. So those are the two that came with him. And then this is going to be just that little thing that holds it like it's the hanging piece. And it's a pretty color. It's like a teal, teal blue green. So you stick that together like that. And then you just stick your guy in there. And then he hangs, but they have, have it hanging like this. So it hangs from the back of this, is what I saw on a few commercials. And then you can actually hang another one from below that, and another one, another one, so you get a whole bunch of them. So they had this like laying on a table, and then they had it hanging off the side. So I figured it out because I looked it up. But there's that, and it will not stand up, so we'll take it off. And our checklist. So, was there rarities to these? Okay, there's common with the green squares. Rare is like a pink heart, and the ultra rare is a blue star. So, there's the blue star, so that's an ultra rare. There's some pink hearts, so those are rares. And I didn't get any of those, and everything on the back here is a common. So there's mine. Ellie Elephant. BFF is Mildred Cow. There, and it's number 002. I like Mildred Cow. Mildred Cow has really cute designs on her. I like that one. The last one I got was um, Candace Chameleon. So that's the one I got last time. But they each have a BFF, so that's really cute. Hermione Hamster. Kelsey Pony. Kelso Pony. Where's the pony? Is it on the front? Oh, Pop Unicorn. At least they didn't make the unicorn hard to get. Princess Pie Unicorn. There's a bunch, so. There's the banana. Okay, this is bunch one. So this is a series one one. Banana boa bob. Boa bob. Boa bob tree. Alright, so that is that. And we are going to look at one of the other prizes. They remind you of fingerlings. They do. They remind me of the fingerlings a little bit. So here is one of the surprises. So um, this is a prize that we'll add. I haven't decided. If, I think I'm going to probably break it up that way. Um, you know, people everybody can have like a pen or something so and these are actually getting harder to find so um, the scented mini gel pens four pack the purple green pink and yellow so Jojo Siwa obviously on there and different designs on each pen so there you go another new prize added and um, hello welcome back Elizabeth um, hi Casey Casey Rogers hello 
Uh, so there we go. <laughs> oh, now I want to win. They work very well. Oh, cool. So Casey Rogers must have those. Um, let me see. Joaquin, I am going to go ahead and hide you on this channel. Sorry. That was not very friendly. So, um, zero tolerant. Zero tolerant. So, all right, here we go. Um, next three questions. Yeah, I know. I deleted it. I, I removed it. So, yep. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Um, hello, bro. Bro. Um, so... Um, first question, in my last Saturday's live stream, so I know I had one in the middle of the week, but this is from last Saturday, I mentioned a sweet treat that I like. What is it? So what was the sweet treat that I liked? And I'm seeing stuff come in. <laughs> All right, you guys know me so well. So yes, the correct answer is brownies. I like brownies. I really like brownies. So um, I don't know if I like brownies or cakes or cookies, but I think I like brownies best. The ones that are like fudgy, not like the ones that are like cake-like. I like them to be like thick. So brownies is the correct answer. And um, oh, okay. Yeah, that's already hidden. Sorry, bro. I do take certain precautions, so. No worries guys, I've taken care of two issues. That's getting to be more and more. So, um, the correct one to get it first was Jojo Siwa is my queen. And that's what number four, wow. So there you go. And then right after that was Elizabeth. Yep, just making sure. Yep, Elizabeth. So there you go. I believe that's number one for you. So Ella. And after Ella, I'll read a few more. Right after Ella was Kylie Sparkles, then Savannah Corn, then Casey Rogers, then Angeli Nanda, then Maxi Fan, then Madeline Darling, and then Madeline Darling again. So, um, all right. I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure what that is. So, sorry guys, I'm having to take care of a few things. All right. Um, yeah, they're being, they're being inappropriate guys, sorry. I can't, I can't, um, prevent everything but I can handle it when it comes up and I do my best so I have done that so yeah I don't know I don't speak fluent Spanish I know some things so I'm um I'm just yeah <laughs> so I'm gonna have to keep watch because it looks like they're gonna continue to come back but we'll just handle it and ignore it because they're just gonna try to ruin it and we're not gonna let them ruin it so moving on to our next question um, in what city was Jojo Siwa born? And thank you guys for helping. So I know that some people might speak Spanish and come in and not be being bad, but I do recognize certain words. So sorry if you see that and just let me know. Help me out. <laughs> so I'll do it as best I can. So what city was Jojo Siwa born? In what city? All right, I see one, two, all right, I got him. So the correct answer is Omaha. So she was born in the state of Nebraska, but the city is Omaha. So the first one to get it was Savannah Corin. And there you go, and it's number two for you. And the next one after Savannah was Jojo Siwa is my queen, and that's number five. Great job. So I'll read a few more after that. Um, after that was Elizabeth, and then I see a bunch of Nebraskas, then I saw Omaha, Nebraska from Casey Rogers, then Angeli Nanta, then Kylie Sparkles. Um, and then Madeline Darling, and then there was a few more. So, 
All right, uh, next question. What is the birthstone for the month of July? So you guys know how they like put a birthstone for each month? Um, like January is garnet, and then February is like amethyst, March is aquamarine. What is the birthstone for the month of July? What is the birthstone for the month of July, guys? The birthstone, the birthstone. All right, I see a bunch, and the correct answer is ruby. The first one to get ruby, and I'll answer the question, Savannah, in just one sec. Um, the first one was Savannah. S-A-V-A-N-N-A-H, Corin. And that's number three for you. So, um, after Savannah was, I see Pearl, Aries, and then I see Ruby from Mac Z Fan. And there you are, I believe that's number one for you today. So, after Maxi Fan was Kylie Sparkles, then Ella Sabet, then Casey Rogers said Pearl, then Maxi Fan said Ruby again, then Madeline Darling said Ruby, Kika's World said Ruby, Ella Sabet said Pearl. Um, say all I said cookies we'll see <laughs> so um, yeah I actually I looked up um, I looked it up too. I, d I double checked to make sure so um, someone says Ruby is August August is a green one I want to say it's like peridot I believe so um, <laughs> but um, okay I said someone uh, Savannah said hi um, whoever wins this if they get picked they can pick a JoJo bow as a prize, correct, yes. So um, if you win um, during this live stream, you can, um, if, if you're in the United States, you have the option to pick 15 prizes, which are blind bags that I've either opened, I don't give all of them away, some of them I collect or some of them I, I keep for future videos if I have like a collection of stuff I wanna do before I give it away, or I might have a friend or family member that I know that would like it, so I give it to them. Um, but then I also have the prizes that I do show you guys that I add. Um, so you have that, the 15 choices of things, and then, or you can choose one Jojo bow. I have pictures that I send you of all the different ones that I have, or a new prize, which I'll actually go ahead and show you guys now, if you didn't catch the post, is um, an option is um, the Soft and Slow Slow Rise Squishies, a uh, brand new one in the package. So I have nine different ones. This is like a gold, um, it's like a, uh, a bundt cake with like, I don't know, cherries or some strawberries or something on top. So it's a brand new one, soft and slow. So you can choose one of these. There's that one. And then there is this rose gold cupcake with a heart on top. So that is another one of them. And I know you guys won't remember all of them. So I do send the pictures to you depending on what you'd like to see or choose. So this one is like a fruit tart blue with the strawberries and a little dollop of cream. So there's that one. So um, here is the silver cake. So that's another pick. And then there's this blue piece of pie. It's probably pumpkin pie. Gross. <laughs> it's got a little dollop of cream. Just because I don't see any like um, you know, it could be like a lemon meringue or, you know, like some kind of pudding pie, but it's probably pumpkin pie. It's a little dollop of cream on top. And they're like metallic, those ones. And then I do have this one too. It's just the cake with the colors though. So there's that one. And then there's this rose gold pink slice of cake. So it's the same kind of cake, but in rose gold. And then this silver stack of pancakes with butter and syrup. <laughs> Pumpkin pie is the best. I really wish I liked some foods because it's like so classic and it's like such a like staple of certain holidays or events that I'm just like, why don't I like this? I tried and tried and tried, but my taste buds say no. And the last one is like a cinnamon bun, cinnamon roll. So. So that actually reminds me too, and I'll make it a question in my next stream. So you guys ready? Let me see how I'm gonna word this. Hello, Minar and Milox mommy. She says, how are you guys? We are doing pretty good. So um, there we go. Um, so let me see. 
because I'll tell you guys, when I go to like the mall, which I don't go to a whole lot, but if there's a Cinnabon there, um, I will buy just the frosting by itself. So I'm gonna ask, what do I buy from Cinnabon? So what do I buy from Cinnabon? And the correct answer is frosting. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I will walk around eating out of a little frosting container. So yeah, I'm that weird person, guys. I really like the frosting from Cinnabon. It's like really good. I used to buy two, but now I've like limited myself to one just because I usually don't get around to the second one before I leave the mall and I forgot it in my purse one time and it smashed. So I was like, okay, I'm only gonna buy what I'm gonna eat. So yeah, I tried to say it for later, but it didn't work. Hello, do with the bet. Hello, hello, hello. Eggnog, I also don't like eggnog. Ugh, ugh, it, like that really grosses me out. Like pumpkin pie, I just don't like the taste, but eggnog actually grosses me out. So, um, yeah, there we go. And what did I show you guys? Showed you guys prizes, and we were just done with questions. So we are on to a new blind bag. So which blind bag shall we do? We've got Monster High, Barbie, Moj Moj, Level of Surprise, Surprisimals, Captain Marvel, and Doctor Strange. So. <laughs> I love frosting, but my mom doesn't let me eat it. Oh no, Maxi fan. Yeah, um, I used to babysit for um, money when I was in middle school, and I would buy a frosting container because my mom wouldn't let me buy frosting either. But she would give me permission if it was my money, but I had like a limit. Like I'd only have like two spoonfuls from it like a day or something. So I was like, I'm odd, you guys. I like weird things. I like frosting. I like the vanilla frosting or the... Um, the cream cheese frosting that's really good so <laughs> all right um, I see monster high first so we'll do the monster high one um, monster high minis series one or season one as they call it the series two I believe comes in a blue locker but this is the pink ones so I did get a really really cute one before um, I don't know if you can even find these ones in the store anymore. I actually haven't seen any Monster High stuff. They like did away with it at the store. So um, yeah, there was like, unless there's like a full box thing, there's no really like hack to it. So we'll just see what we get inside and go from there. Yeah, the cute one that I got was like really pretty, like teal green blue. And it was like, she had like bubble gum or something. Like she blew a bubble. So really, really, really pretty. I like that one. So let's see, let's see, where is it? Is it in the bottom? There's a way to do this without, oh, okay, well, it kind of tore still anyway. I'm trying not to. And there we go, there's the other part, I can do the rest. All right, oh, pretty purple. And a checklist inside. So it has the locker, if you can see the Monster High symbol there in the back and you can stack them when you have a lot of them so and it makes its own display which is really really nice and it's a cute display it has to do with the theme of monster high it's not just like a weird shape it's a locker because they're in high school so i really appreciate when they actually think about it and they put more into it so it's simple but it works so and it's a little cat let me see oh it turns okay so Little cat ears. I don't know which cat monster this is, but she's got little pink bows all over her dress and a little black tied bow in the center, but they're made to look like ragdolls, kind of. You can see the stitching right there. It's really cute, and the body does turn, as you saw, because I had to fix it. But I love that purple. The purple is, I think that's pretty much my favorite color, is that light-colored purple. So, it's like a lilac color, lavender color, but lilac is my favorite. So, really pretty, though. I like it. So we'll try to find her on the checklist, and I think they, no, I don't know if they have names, I can't remember. I think it's just like the club that they're in or something has the name. So, okay, so here is what it is. Blue is common, pink is fantastic find, yellow is frightfully uncommon, and purple is special edition. So on the front here, I thought it was this one, but it's not because she doesn't have bows on her dress. So that's original ghouls, and I don't see her on there. Circus Ghouls, I don't see her on. Power Ghouls, I don't see her on. Getting Ghostly, I wonder what those are. I wonder if they're translucent. That would be really cool. I like translucent stuff. So I don't see her in the Beach Ghouls, in the Ragdog do Rag Ragdoll do Ghouls. Oh, why is that so hard? Don't see her in that, because they don't. she doesn't have button eyes. Sleepover Ghouls, uh, okay, there she is, right there. So she's a blue, and that was a common. 
also, she's a sleepover ghoul. So, um, yeah, I don't know who it is. Um, I think this is Claudine here. And I don't know if the two girls, there's the twin sister cats or whatever. They don't, I don't know if that's one of them. I thought that they had like um, some black on their face or something too. Like a tuxedo cat, but I don't, I don't remember. So and there's the rest of them. Candy ghouls. So I think I, this is the one that was really, really cute. That one with the bubble gum. So there you go. Oh, there's one boy in there. So that is our checklist. All right. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see. All right, here is another item that I'm throwing in there. So someone picked the other one, so I'm putting a new one in. So it's a mermaid lanyard. It says, good for annual passes, for a keychain, for school or work badges, and also for like your house keys or whatever you'd like. So there's a lot of toys that have like little things that you can hang them on. So that would actually be good for like if you had a collection of toys that you wanted to carry around real easy. So there you go. Mermaid lanyard. All right, here we go. On to our next three questions. You guys ready? Yeah, she is cute. She is really cute. All right, here we go. This was one of the questions on my website. In what Disney movie was someone told, seek thee out the diamond in the rough? I'm not saying it with the accent and everything and the deep voice, but you should still remember that line. So seek thee out the diamond in the rough. All right, I see a few coming in. The first one in there is Brenda Garcia. And good job. That's number two for you. All right, the next one after Brenda was Kylie Sparkles. And that's number three for you. All right, so after Kylie, I saw Savannah, then Ella Thibet, then CB Fab Toys. Or C, I don't know why I said CB Fab, it's C Fab Toys. Um, Do It The Bet, then Madeline Darling, then ALDC Clips. Yep, Into the Cave of Wonders is where they said it. Hello, hashtag Unicorn Squad. They gave me a winky kiss. Um, and then um, ALDC Clips, then uh, Madeline Darling and Jolly Nanda. So, we've got our two there. Uh, next question. In um, what big sister in the series two LOL surprise, uh, blah, blah. Let me read, let me start this again. Um, in what Big Sister Series 2 LOL Surprise Club is there only one doll? So in one of the Series 2 LOL Surprise Big Sister Clubs, there's only one doll that belongs in the club. Which club is that? This is pretty, this is pretty well known because she's pretty sought after. So in which LOL Surprise Series 2 Club is there only one doll? Not like there's one doll like awake or anything, it's just there's only one doll in the club. It's a series two, guys. Series two. What's the name of the club? I see a lot of people with the right idea, but what's the name of the club, you guys? Well, I thought for sure this one was gonna be super easy. Who's got their checklist? Have a look at your checklist. It's the LOL Surprise Series 2 checklist for the big sisters. Right, I see somebody. Okay, do the whole thing. All right, so we've got a few. So the correct answer, and I'll show you guys, there's only one club with only one doll in it. And it's 24 karat gold club, which has Lux. So I did not ever get Lux. I still have some more balls that I haven't opened, but I don't think Lux is in any of them because um, they were the re-release balls. So um, yeah, but uh, yeah, Lux, Lux, and the 24 karat gold club was the answer. So 24 karat gold was what I was looking for. Um, I'm gonna double check and make sure that I didn't miss any, but Yep, no, I see glam, I see gold, I see gold. And then first one was Brenda Garcia with 24 karat, 24K. 
So Brenda Garcia. And there you go. And after Brenda, I see gold. I see 24, then I see 24K gold, which um, came from Savannah Corin. And Savannah, it's number four. So there you are. Oh, in, in it needs to go. Um, after Savannah, I see Angeli Nana says 24 gold, then Maxi Fan said 24k gold, Elizabeth said 24k gold, Kylie Sparkle said 24k gold, and then, um, yeah, I see Pep I do get really specific, like I didn't used to, but then I was like, no, it needs to be across the board, everybody gotta have the same thing, so, unless I say differently, like for spelling on certain names, if I didn't put it on my site, then sometimes they're tricky and I might even misspell it because, like, Mary or something, something simple like that it could be like M-A-R-Y normally, but sometimes people spell M-A-R-I or something. So depends on what it is if I say you don't have to get spelling or not, but yeah. Um, let's see, we have another question and then we'll open up another blind bag. So uh, this one was on my website, guys. What is the state flower for Arizona? Arizona is where I'm at. And I actually saw a bunch of these. Um, I was driving yesterday and they were all over. So what is the state flower for Arizona? Spelling on this because it was on my site. Nope, not sunflower. So what's the specific name, guys? All right, I see a couple. So the correct answer is saguaro. Um, it's the um, flower on the cactus, but it's specifically the saguaro. I keep on wanting to say it wrong. But um, yeah, so the, the cactuses, they take such a long time to grow. It's the specific kind. Um, and then they're actually blooming right now. So I see a bunch of them have the flowers on there and they're gonna all open up. So it's gonna look really cool. I'll take some pictures and post it so you guys can see. So it's actually, it's really, really neat. Um, and let's see, the first one with that was Brenda Garcia. So now you've got four. All right, Brenda. And um, after that, I see cactus flower. Oh, I was looking for saguaro, then sunflower, then sunflower, and then maxi fam. Oh no, spelling. Uh, Madeline Darling said saguaro. So Madeline Darling was next. Madeline Darling. All right, that is number three for you. All right, so that was our last little question for that group, and we are going to open up another blind bag. So which one shall it be, guys? I see the uh, Captain Marvel collector's curing. I think I know what's in that. The Doctor Strange, I don't know. I don't know what's in the Moj Moj. The surprise animals, I have a guess. The LL surprise fashion crush, no idea. And the Barbie, I've got no idea what's in there. So, um, all right. I see no Moj. So, not Moj? No Moj Moj? Which one? I think that I would like to open up the Barbie. Oh, okay. So, no, they, they, they wanted to say Moj Moj. All right, so I thought you were saying no to the Moj Moj, but here we go. It is the Moj Moj, the Crunch series. It says the original, so soft, so cute, so Moj. Um, I don't know that they're soft. They're not plushy, but they're squishy. So they should have said squishy, but I guess that's their gimmick. So this is part of the series with an apple with a bite out of it. I think it's the Crunch series because it says Crunch right there and it's like taking a bite out of an apple would be Crunch. Um, squeeze me. I've opened up two of these, I believe. I got a unicorn in one with like a cactus theme, I think it was. And the other one, I think was a bunny with the, um, outer space background. I've got, I've gotten those pets in the backgrounds. So maybe I mix them up, but there we go. I don't know half of these. They have different colors on these, but yeah, I've not seen a full unboxing or anything of this. So let me get scissors to get this started. All right. And it's cool that these have a little display case too for them, so, and they stack a good because they're just squares. LL Surprise should have made it so that it was easy to stack and store and display your dolls. So here's our little character and then checklist and the background. 
first thing up is the character. And I'll open it from this side because that's very close to the other side. Ooh, this is a pretty one. Oh, I like this one. It's a purple cat. It's like a cosmic cat. So the stuff inside is definitely crunchy and they look like those beads that they have in the packages and it says do not eat. So like when they have it to like keep something dry like in a purse or in um, like a backpack or something. Um, sometimes they have it in food too, but yeah, so it reminds me, but then it has glitter too. So big old cat tail, kind of looks like a question mark, doesn't it? So it's a piece on the outside. A little piece of glitter looks like it's on the outside. But I love it. It's super cute. Anything with like moon and stars, I like. I think I like Princess Luna. She's purple and she's got the moon and stars. So it was like a double bonus for her. So you can squeeze it and you can really see all those little pebbles there now. But yeah, this one's a really, really pretty one. I love it. Oh, it's got Moj Moj right here. I don't know if I ever noticed that on the other ones. So and it's kind of bumped out. Smells like it smells. It does. It doesn't smell good. Let's just say that it smells not like gasoline, but definitely like something to that effect. Like, yeah, it's just it's one of those really strong odors too. So you have to let it air out for a while, and then it would be okay. But I love this one. Super pretty. So our background. Let's see. Oh yes. Someone just said that this cat reminds them of Sailor Moon. So Luna was also the name of the cat on Sailor Moon. And yeah, she was like a dark, she was like a dark gray, kind of maybe purple they were trying to make it. And she did have a moon in the middle of her forehead, yellow too. So yeah, that does remind me of uh, Luna there. So I love Sailor Moon, watched it every morning. <laughs> I remember Sailor Moon, guys. I remember Sailor Moon. She's actually making a comeback. They have a lot of merch at like Hot Topic and um, there's the lunchbox store or something with her. So. All right, what is it? Is it coffee? She, oh, okay, is she having coffee? So it's like a little house scene or something. That's totally like opposite. So you would punch this coffee out and then make sure I don't ruin it. And then just pop it up there like that. And then it came with a punch out for a fish bowl. So you just punch them out and then you set the two pieces together and it would make a 3D fishbowl that would actually stand up on its own so you don't have to worry about it falling over. But it usually doesn't fit in there too well with your character. So it just kind of gets pushed back or doesn't have enough room. The cactus one was pretty skinny. Oh no, can I not pick you up? I got it. So that is all you gotta do. It's pretty simple. So I don't know if, how many fish I have. <laughs> There's a lot of fish in the bowl or is there just two fish or what? But you take this and you put it inside of here again. Like I said, they really actually kind of thought about this so you can display it. You could put your cat in there and then really there's not like too much room for this. So that, that's what, oh, and it, when you pull it out, it was kind of stuck to it, but it wasn't sticky. It's just that the way the plastic is, it's kind of shiny. See? I can think of other ones that would have gone better with this one. This would go better with like a nighttime sky, but I guess they were going for opposites attracting. This is her daytime job. And then you just put it together and then you can stack a whole bunch. Set them side by side. It doesn't take up too much space. So I like that. It's really nice when they do stuff like that. All right, we'll push you up there because you are super cute. And I'm going to have a look at the checklist. I want to say that I think it should be like something more rare. It's really pretty. This side's got a poster of that claw machine. I do have the claw machine, still have not opened it. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh, it's an ultra rare one. So there you go, there's rare, ultra rare, and if it doesn't have anything, it's a common. But then look, it's star beams, it's the cat. Ultra rare. So, I don't know if you're trying to go for one of these, if in one of these blue containers it will always be, but, you know, if you're trying for this kitty. Try for a blue container and see what you get. So how many ultra rares are there? There's only two in the whole checklist. So there's this one and then there's this one. And then for rares, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven rares. So that was a really lucky one. I got this one before, this bear. That's the one I got. And I know I've got this bunny. So I can't remember the other one that I've got. The unicorn right there, there, so. 
And the bunny was actually one that they had on the container that if the container was gone, you can ask for it and sometimes they let you have it. But there we go, super cute. That was a really good find in that one. All right, Sailor Moon was an old cartoon anime from the late 90s to the early 2000s. Yep, it was, that it was. All right, so another prize, um, these metallic jewelry tattoos. So they're temporary tattoos and that part right here, it's, it's silver metallic-y. So, um, and yeah, just the silver part's metallic -y. I want to say the other part was kind of shiny, but it's, it's shiny. It's just not sparkly or anything, but I thought it was cute. So you can kind of like put it around your wrist to make it a bracelet and this around your neck to make it a necklace or whatever or by your neck. So, and you can wrap them around your finger or your upper arm or wherever you like. So temporary tattoos, they wash off and stuff. So this will be in there as a prize that you can pick. And we are on to our next three questions. You guys are ready? Ooh, Detective Pikachu comes out May 10th. I don't know if I'll see it opening day because I don't like to deal with like waiting in line and I'll just wait till it's a little calmer like I did for like the Avengers Endgame. So I know a lot of people are gonna wanna see the Pokemon movie. So I think I might wait for a day or two and then I'll see it, but I'm excited for that one. So here we go. What LOL surprise doll in the Bling series has on white stockings with pink polka dots? So which LOL surprise doll in the Bling series has on white stockings with pink polka dots? See, a lot of you guys are guessing the ones that I do have on my website, but I do have other ones that are similar to those. So it's, it's almost a little tricky. But um, which LOL surprise doll in the Bling series has on white stockings with pink polka dots? And I see a lot coming in. So here's the checklist real quick. The one with the white stockings is this one, and there's the pink polka dots. So Ice Skater, S-K-8-E-R, is what I'm looking for. So I've got the first one. I see a couple Heartbreaker. No, she's one of the answers, but um, then I see Beats, Heartbreaker. I've skater. Oh no, um, heartbreaker. I've skater. Oh, did autocorrect get you guys? That's such a bummer. Um, it gets me too. And then Kylie Sparkles fixed it. Ice skater. So Kylie Sparkles. You got it first. After that. So Kylie, that's number four for you. And after Kylie Sparkles, she corrected it, was, um, I see Skater, but looking for Ice Skater, then, oh no, the, it, auto correct must have got a lot of people, they changed it to Ive, so Maxi Fans was changed to Ive, and then, um, Kylie Sparkles made sure she got Ice Skater again, then Anjali Nanda said Ice Skater, but I'm looking for how they did it, so Maxi Fans says Ice Skater. So I guess I'll take that. There's no space, but I'll take it because it's spelled correctly. So Maxi Fan. So there you go, and that's number two for you. After Maxi was um, Brenda Garcia, then got it, and then Maxi Fan corrected, and then Menar and Mommy, Menar and Malik's Mommy said Ice Skater after that too. So. We are on to our next question, guys. Yeah, autocorrect. I'm like, I turn that off too sometimes when I know I'm doing things that I have to like write like odd names or words for because then it just messes with me. I'll do it like three times in a row and it still won't like stop doing it. So um, I turn it off sometimes. But um, all right, here is a question that was on my website. Which My Little Pony is the keeper of the generosity element of harmony? So what is the name of that pony? Which My Little Pony is the keeper of the generosity element of harmony? And I know we asked about the elements of harmony in the last live stream, I believe. Did this last one or last Saturday, so. All right, uh, which My Little Pony is the keeper of the generosity element of harmony? The correct answer is rarity. So rarity is very generous with her friends. Um, she has the purple stone, which is the rarity one. And I played the game on um, on the tablet, the My Little Pony game, and collected all those little shards. They had the little purple diamond and then the um, balloon, I think it was like the pink balloon or blue balloon or something, and then the butterflies and the apples and then the lightning bolt thing, the red lightning bolt. These 
It's been a while, but I did see it again too recently, so I was like, oh, I miss playing that, but something happened to my iPad, I like lost everything, everything. It was so sad. So, first person to have gotten Rarity was Brenda Garcia, so you got five now. Good job. Brenda Garcia. All right, and then the next one is, I see, a Mac Z fan, and that's number three for you. Oh, I thought I was spelling it wrong for a second. All right, so Mac Z fan, and after Mac Z fan, I see Madeline Darling, Savannah Corin, Kylie Sparkles, Kika's World, Mac Z fan again, and Jelly Nanda. Um, Madeline Darling, Minar and Malik's mom. Um, Madeline Darling, one, two, three times. And then there was some more. So, oh, Maxi Fan used to play that. I actually really, really enjoyed it. I was really, really good at that game. Really good at that game. So, um, let's see. Was there something else I was going to say about it? I guess not. I can't remember. But if I do remember, then I'll say something. So, um, next question, guys. What is the name of the superhero? that is big and green and comes because Bruce Banner gets angry. So what is the name of that superhero? The name of the superhero that is big and green and comes out because Bruce Banner gets angry. All right, so the first one is Savannah Corin. S-A-V-A-N-N-A-H-C-O-R-Y-N. So there we go. That is number five for you, Savannah. Uh, next one after Savannah Corin. Oh, I don't know what just fell. Something fell. Um, after Savannah Corrin, it said, oh, Kika's Roll said Hulk, but it's H-U-L-K. So after that was Madeline Darling. All right, so Madeline Darling, yeah, she does not have five yet. So Madeline Darling. And yeah, um, I, I know I've said it a bunch of times, so um, whenever I see someone mention it, um, I'll, I guess, just discuss it. So I know it shows up different for everybody on their screen a lot of times. For you yourself, it'll show that your comment is first, but um, it does show different for everybody. And um, if you play back the video, the way that I'm calling out, because I have checked a few videos, but the way that I'm reading them out on my screen um, is the way that it does show in the um, in the video when it's when it's played back. So I just go ahead and you know read it off the way that I see them, but um, I don't know why it does that. So. I apologize guys, I used to try to make it so that if you sent me a screenshot, but then it got complicated and it was a lot of work, so that's why also I've limited to like five um, entries per stream, that way if it just continues to be like one person getting it, um, whatever reason that YouTube shows me that one person again and again is being first, then um, it, it kind of just offsets it so that it's more fair that more people have a chance to get entered. So um, that's the best I can do just to make it simpler and, and you know, more smooth for it. So I'm sorry guys, but um, I'm trying my best. So that was our last question there. We are on to a new blind bag. So which one shall it be? The Doctor Strange, Marvel, Surprise Animals, LOL, Surprise Fashion Girls, or Barbie, Sweet Orchard? Yeah. Hello, Toy Box Fun. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Just don't give up because it, it, it works. It works. Promise it will work. And if you give up, then, um, okay, Maxi Fan, you've got three in there. All right, Barbie. Thank you guys. I've been waiting for that one. So, the Barbie. So, um, they did have, like, the Barbie purses, which I believe I opened up in my last live stream, so on Tuesday. Um, but this is new. These are brand new. First time I've seen them in the store, and I was so happy because they have different animals in them. They have a bunny. And they've got like all different kinds of farm animals. So, um, Barbie Sweet Orchard Farm. There's two cute pets inside, but this is a series one. So, you know, that's really cute. But it comes in like a little basket that they use at like a farm stand or something. Uh, 
you know, just a little uh, farmer's market or whatever. But um, you guys know, I already said I want the bunny. So uh, I don't know that there's any hacks for this. There's no way you can see inside it. Maybe there's like a weight or something, but you know, this isn't such like, this isn't LOL surprise. So I don't see anybody doing like weight hacks for these. And you know, I didn't buy a full case. So maybe there's a placement in the box if you find a video that someone's opening up a full one. Hopefully I just get a bunny. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to be getting a lot of these because I do want the bunny. I want the bunny. Really bad. Alright. Come on. There we go. So, this is what the basket looks like. First time seeing it. Kind of looks like a stable barn door. Does not open or anything, but there's the side. The other side does not have the paint color on it, too. So, there we go. And here's our pet. Please be a bunny. And I did notice, like, when I squished it like this in the box, some of them were more full than others. Like, maybe there was, like, a big pet inside of it. So that might help a little bit. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, from the feel of it, I think it's, like, a cow or a horse or something. I don't think it's a horse. I think it's, like, a cow. This one, what could you be? It's blue. Oh, it's a blue sparkly one. Okay. We'll have a look. So checklist. Let's get this one out. I'm curious. It's a blue glittery one. Oh, what is it? I think it's a pig. It's a little pig. That's really cute. The glitters, I got scared because I saw it's all over the bag. So my fingers might be glittery for the rest of the stream. But that is really cute. It reminds me of the little pig and babe. And the little tail, I was trying to get it so you could see it at an angle. But there is a little curly tail on there. It's just not super prominent. Oh, you can kind of see it there. So there we go. And the eyes got a little gap at the top, so there is a little separation, so you can see it. It's a cute little nose, so super happy about that. The little feet are so cute. I like it. I like it. So the glittery pig is one, and that's got to be like a special one, because in the other series, the glitter one is a special one. So I didn't get a bunny, but I did get a cool one. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, it's a llama, you guys. It's a llama. So that is super cool. I'm pretty happy with this one. Llamas are like super popular right now. But there's the front. Legs are pretty close together. The back, they're a little bit apart. There's a fluffy tail. And for like the, I want to say it's a kitty mark, but it's not Lila Pony, but the little mark there. The other Barbie pets have like paw prints, but this has got the Barbie head. So this is all flocked and fluffy. Just like those LOL surprise pets or like the puppy in my pockets like that. The face is not, so that's pretty cool. I like that they separated that and made it, and it looks really good. And it's a decent weight, too, so. This is definitely worth it. I can't remember how much they were. They were only a few dollars, like, I think 3.88 or something. But you get two little pets in there, and if you get one of the glittery ones, that's, like, super, super cool. Super fine glitter, too, so. Little llama and a little pig. So let's have a look at the checklist. Uh, let's see, Madeline Darling, you have three entries. So there it is, Series 1, Barbie Orchard Farm. Collect them all. And the back. Here's the inside. So, okay, we can get a sheep, a miniature pony, a duckling, a highland calf, a rooster, a calf. I'd like that calf. There's the bunny! There's the bunny, and it's got a glittery purple bow. This is so cute. That's like the um, Dutch rabbit, I think, the breed. The Border Collie. Okay, it's an alpaca. It's not a llama. I take that back. It's an alpaca, guys. <laughs> and a billy goat, a farm cat, an Appaloosa horse. I would love that one. That is so cute with a little apple balancing on there, and it's glittery. You can tell. A goose, a piglet in boots, so it's got little glittery boots. Oh my goodness, look, look, there's the rare glitter figure. So I got that one, my first one. That is super, super lucky. That's really cool. I'm happy about that because I just grabbed it. I even put one down and then I picked this one up instead. because so I was debating. I was like, well, how many do I want to get? But I grabbed this one and I'm so glad I did. Uh, hen, chicks in a nest, which is really cute. I'd like that. And a donkey and yeah, that rare glitter figure. Super, super happy for that. So that is the only rare one on that whole checklist. But I think that was a pretty good one because this one's really cute too. I'd say my least favorite maybe is the hen. She just doesn't look like she's got a lot going on there. The duckling's just pretty cute for his, you know, ducklingness because it reminds me of the, um, the ugly little duckling. But yeah, I think that the hen, even though I like chickens, there's just not that much going on. So, all right, well, that was a great one. That was a really good one. Super cool. 
And let's see, new prize that I'm adding. I've been mixing up things too much up here. Is I'll just grab this one. So this bracelet. So you know, you guys have been giving away the bracelets that I had that I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do this anymore. So this is really probably never even wore a lot of them. I just have them. But that is gonna be in there for you guys. Yeah, no bunny, but I still do really good. Still did really good with those ones. So we are on to our next question. <laughs> uh, let's see, do we have this? Okay, yep. This one was on my website. So what gives plants their green color? And this one you guys have got to spell right because it was on my website. So you know that rule. So you guys are learning. You guys are learning here. <laughs> what gives plants their green color? Oh, I see a couple. All right, so the correct answer is chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is spelled C-H-L-O-R-O-P-H-Y-L-L. -L. So the first one to get it was Kylie Sparkles. Let's see, do you have five yet? No, nope, now you do. So Kylie Sparkles, you've got five in there. All right, the second one with chlorophyll spelled correctly is chlorophyll, Mac Z Fan. So Mac Z Fan. So now you've got four. After that, I see just your everyday weird. Um, I see a couple with incorrect spelling on it, but um, yeah, the chlorophyll and the plant cells. That's right, Savannah. And Madeline Darling and yeah, yeah, forgot the E. Um, so there you go. Ask a Pokemon quiz question. I don't remember if I do have, I think I, uh, I'm not sure. I can't say I do for sure if I have a Pokemon one. But um, here's a JoJo question for you guys. Are you ready? This one's a little tricky. You guys have asked for harder JoJo questions. So I've been trying to figure out stuff that's not too hard, but what is the name of the Canadian musical comedy television series that Jojo appeared on in 2016 called? So it's a Canadian musical comedy television series and Jojo Siwa appeared on it in 2016. So what is the name of that musical comedy television series called? What is it called, guys? <laughs> This was tricky, I didn't even know this. So I'm wondering if there's anybody that like has like really, really super JoJo knowledge. Like they know everything that she's been in. Yeah, she did a talk show. She did a talk show with Jimmy Fallon, but this one was in 2016. Um, and yeah, the uh, um, Dance Moms isn't Canadian, that's in the US. So she did a did one in the um, in 2016. So let's see, let's see who grabs it. I know if you search her on Wiki, you can find it. I see ABC. Oh no! Come on, you guys. This is JoJo Siwa. I see ABC. That's not it, guys. What is the name of the Canadian musical comedy television series that Jojo appeared on in 2016? What's it called? No, Good Morning America, that's America. Is it School of Rock? No. Oh, I think I'm gonna stump you guys on this one. Is it Good Morning America? No. MSN? No. Alright, you guys ready? Give up? All right, so the name of the show was called Make It Pop. So Make It Pop was the name of that, um, the Canadian musical comedy television series. So I bet you guys are gonna, you gotta go see what that's all about now. I didn't actually see it, but I, w I looked it up. And um, yeah, so Make It Pop. <laughs> I didn't know that was Canadian. Yeah, it's Make It Pop, so. All right, so I will be asking you guys another question and um, I'll have to make one up. So we'll be doing that. <laughs> 
All right, um, next question. Um, yeah, Savannah says she remembers her being on that, but she didn't know it was Canadian. Oh no, you should have guessed it. So, all right. Um, what is inside of Harry Potter's wand? And be specific. So what specifically is inside of it? I'll kind of take two answers depending on how you answer, but yeah, what is inside of Harry Potter's wand? Let's see. Magic, ah, uh, <laughs> wood, magic, kind of. So there's something specific inside of his wand and they do talk about it. So yeah, it's not magic. That's not what I'm looking for, guys. <laughs> a point for creativity. So you get a point for creativity, but not quite an entry. Oh, I thought this one was going to be a little easier because I even remember this without having to look it up. So I see one that's kind of got it. So I'll actually credit for that. Applesauce. Oh, that would be interesting for inside of um inside of a wand. So I'm actually going to ask that. You know, I don't like applesauce, guys, so I'm going to ask that in my next stream. Um, what do I not like? What food don't I like? Applesauce. What food do I not like? Applesauce. <laughs> So many things that I want to like, but I don't like. So, all right. Um, the question again was, what is inside of Harry Potter's wand? And I see it's a phoenix feather. So it's actually a phoenix feather that Fox donated. So I will take some, anything that says phoenix feather. So I see Holly and Phoenix, um, Holly and Phoenix, and I see 11 inch Holly and Phoenix feather. So um, it's, it's 11 inches long, it's made of holly, and then it has a phoenix feather inside. So Madeline Darling, and there you go, Madeline, Madeline Darling, you got that first. These were two hard questions, I guess. So Madeline Darling, and then the next one, I see holly and phoenix, holly and phoenix, holly and phoenix feather. Dragon feather. Dragon feather. No, not a dragon feather. Um, Phoenix feather from Nita Mon Montasir. So N I D A A M U N T A S E R. Montasir. Montasir. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. So N I I D A A. All right, so we've got, yep, I also don't like pie. Yep, yep, I do not like pie. I like the crust of pie. So for my next stream though, I'll answer this. I'll say, I'll say, what food do I not like? And the correct answer is applesauce. So I'll say that I mentioned it in my last stream too. So Savannah's read the books when she was really young, but she hasn't seen any of the movies. Yeah, I haven't read any of the books, but I've seen the movies, so I'm the opposite. And I like to read too, but I was reading like other things, but I just, the movies were on, my family was watching them, so I watched them too. So, um, my mom was really, really into it, so that's, that's why I, I saw them all. <laughs> but, um, alright, that is our two, and that is the, actually I've got to ask another question because we didn't get that out one, so I've got to think of one. Let me think, let me think, let me think. What can I ask? I could always ask an owl a surprise question, which I probably will do, because it will be easier. So, let's see. This one's kind of easy. Plus, if you were here a little earlier, then um, you'll, you'll have seen it, and because we kind of went over it too. But, um, in the LOL Surprise Series 2 Little Sisters, which two little sisters are hiding in a big sister ball? So in the LOL Surprise Series 2 Little Sisters, what two little sisters are hiding in a big sister ball? Alright, I see one, I see two. 
All right, so I see the first one is Toy Box Fun with Sugar and Spice. Or what did she say? She said, yeah, she said Sugar and Spice. I thought she said it the other way, but either way, Boomin, okay. So Toy Box Fun. I'm gonna write that down. That's actually number one for you. And the next one is Kylie Sparkles with Sugar and Spice. You've got five. So after that, we have, that not only said Heartbreaker, but then Just Your Everyday Words and Little Sugar and Little Spice. So, um, Just Your Everyday Weird. And there you go. So after that, I saw Savannah Corn came in, then Amalia, then ALDC Clips, then Madeline Darling, then ALDC Clips again, then Adeli Nanda, and then Amalia Zool Farfan, and Madeline, yep you do. So um, we are on to our next blind bag. So we've got the Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange, Surprisimals, and LOL Surprise. That's what we've got left to open. Had a pretty good pull of toys today. I think my favorites so far are these ones. I really like those. I really like those ones. This is also really cute. And this ended up being cute. I like it better than the chameleon. <laughs> All right, the fashion crush. Hello, Anna Banana. So first one I saw was LOL Surprise Fashion Crush. So I've opened up just a couple of these. Um, it is from the I Spy series. There are three surprises. I don't know why they say that the magnifying glass is a surprise, but you also get an outfit and a pair of shoes. So um, this will get messy. I forgot to grab like a paper towel, but we'll just deal with it. We'll, we'll take it as it goes and I will find something to clean off my hands because it does get a little messy. And then also this, if you don't have like the magnifying glass in advance, then how are you supposed to see everything on the outside? So, I mean, you can see it though by your eyes. So it got a little hat. It's got a little detective hat on it. And then it has a letter A. So, and I was told by you guys, you guys helped me out. You're supposed to use like on the checklist, there's like a clue thing where you're supposed to put the, um, the letters where the symbols are. Can I even get into the first one? Maybe, 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 maybe. No, no, it tore. So I did like this, that they came with, it's like a clothes basket, so I appreciated that. But it's got the same pictures, the little detective hat with the letter A on this layer. So there's our magnifying glass. That would be really helpful, huh guys? They do have a little bit more on the top here, so we can look at it. And I didn't like that the little thing is bent because... I like it to be straight, but it's got that little crease, so that bugs me. <laughs> but here we go. Our little eye spy glass, and there you go. Detective hat with the letter A. Look at my bunny. All the pink parts are like almost missing. What else is there? What else is there here? <laughs> Things go missing. They're the same color. So there's our glass and a checklist did come out there. So laundry, really good texture too. You needed this for like, you could put Play-Doh on this and texture it really cool. So we'll pull it open, maybe, there it goes. I got it. All right, so it's very wet, very moist already <laughs> um, so it's like a pink kind of translucent very shimmery one and should we take the whole thing out okay maybe I can get it out before I pop up the outfit oh okay I got it so there's the inside of the basket but here's our whole outfit it's got, uh, it's one of the um, sports ones, so it says baby, it's got the boots, or not the boots, but the shoes uh, with the um, striped socks and the skirt, so I don't actually have to make too big of a mess, because I did cut this out. So there's our skirt, very slimy. It's orange, it's kind of looking like yellowish on my screen, but it's really a, like a neon orange, like a highlighter color. 
and some little stripes there. So there's the skirt. And then this has stuff in it. Oh, I got it out. It's even shaped like the, the um, shoe though. You see that? That's funny. So I got that out. And it's a really, it's not even white. It's like yellowish. This is kind of like a light orange yellow, which I have like pairs like this and they're not that color. So that's kind of weird. I wonder if it's supposed to be like that, so... Oh no, this one stayed in there, but I got it out. Yep, I got it out, mostly. So I always, like, wash these off. So there's a little booty or the foot <laughs> inside, but and there's the other shoe. And then the top. Says baby. And this is definitely not one of the, um, the rare outfits or anything, because I know that this has something to do with it too, but this one's still really pretty. Still trying to think of something to do with this stuff. I did crush mine up and save it. Maybe you could like put it into some slime or something. I was thinking to put it into, if you guys know what like a garlic press is, and then squish it through that. I thought that would be kind of fun. Kind of satisfying. If I ended up throwing it away, I'd just do that one last time before I did. But yeah, have you guys found anything interesting to do with this stuff? It's fun to squish, but it does make a mess, but just keep it contained and you'll be okay. So, and I don't want to make my hands all messy right now. So, all right, here we go. Put that away. There's a little piece there. And I'm going to wipe off my hand before I touch the checklist. <laughs> Does anyone have five entries? Yes, uh, a couple people do have five entries. Okay, one, two, three, four people have five entries. So my hands will be kind of icky the rest of the stream. I can still feel that stuff on there, but sacrifice, sacrifice. Oh, is there more? No, that's it. All right, so mine was in the athletic club and it's right there. So it's F-012 and I've got this one, which I think is my favorite out of all of them anyway. I ended up getting that one, that watermelon swimsuit one. So, so cute. So, and then the only one is this one, and that is the ultra rare, the rare is this one, and then the um, fancy is that one, and the rest are popular. So, this one's also really cute though, and this one too. But, I thought it was cool that they did this with the outfits, it's also like a less expensive LOL product. So I think it's like 388 for these at Walmart, so I appreciate that. But we are on to a prize and here we have one. So it's another doll. It is a little fairy and I loved her skirt. So I even asked you guys what you would name her and got some cute names. I can't remember them now and I can't pull them up right now, but there was, there were some really cute names, but I was thinking sprinkles. <laughs> it's very unoriginal, but I just like the skirt and it's, Sprinkles, so I thought it would be a cute little fairy name, Sprinkles. But if you guys pick her and would like her, then you can name her whatever you would like. So I just really like the little sprinkle material. I'd like ribbon like that. That would be really cute to make a bow with sprinkles. So, all right. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, all right, we are on to our next three questions. Sorry, I was just catching up in the chat there and making sure everything's okay. Um, and we are going to ask it right now, so be ready. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm reading at the same time, so it gets a little difficult, but I got it. So, um, in my last Saturday's live stream, I told you who my favorite character in Avengers is. Who is it? Do you guys remember? My favorite character in Avengers. My table got a little bit wet there. A little, little piece. So in my last Saturday's live stream, I told you who my favorite character in Avengers is. Who is it? Oh, and by the way, you guys, don't spoil it for anybody. If you've seen Endgame, don't spoil anything for anybody. I just thought of that, like, as I was seeing things come in. I just didn't want anybody to comment something about the movie and spoil it for someone else. Because I would have been really mad if my friends had spoiled it for me. I kept telling them every, every time they were like message me about it. I was like, don't tell me, don't tell me. So um, again, the question is, in my last Saturday's live stream, I told you who my favorite character in Avengers is. Who is it? The correct answer is Loki. So I really like Loki. 
Um, and let's see, there we go. Just Your Everyday Weird was the first one. So Just Your Everyday Weird. And let me see what that one is. I think that's number two for you. So there you go. And then the next one after that is Mac Z Fan. And that's number five for you. Um, after Maxi Fan, I saw Savannah Corn says Iron Man, nope. Anna Vanessa says Wonder Woman, nope. Uh, Maxi Fan said Loki. Amalia said Loki. Madeline Darley said Loki. Toy Box Fun, Anjali Nanda. Um, Madeline Darling again, and then Savannah said, I don't know, I wasn't here. Um, yeah, I know, not everybody can make it, but I do give you guys a couple questions for the ones that were. So, Anna Banana said Loki, the Madeline Darling, and then there's some more. So, um, you skipped school to go see it. Oh, you know, I have to say, I think my mom kept me out of school for something one time, but I don't remember what it was. So, yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're doing good in school, it's all based on your parents' decisions, so I can't say anything about that. So, it just depends. But if you're always missing school and you have really bad grades, you probably shouldn't miss any days. But, you know, like I said, it's all based on what your parents decide. So, um, next question. Um, she meant she skipped school to go see the movie. That's what she meant. That's what she meant. So, uh, all right, here we go. This question was on my website. What is the capital of the state of Wisconsin? <laughs> Anna Banana is asking an age question. She says, Sugar Bunny, are you older than 20? What do you guys think? You guys think I'm older than 20? <laughs> I know you guys want to know so bad, but I don't know. I just like, that's my secret. It's a secret. All right, so what is the capital of the state of Wisconsin? And I'm seeing them come in. Let's see. Okay, I've got a couple. So the correct answer is Madison. So the first one is um, Jojo Siwa fan for life. Is it F O R or did the number? Oh, it's uh, there we go. So Jojo Siwa fan for life. And then after Jojo Siwa fan for life is, she did it again, and then Madeline Darling. Do you have five? Oh, now you do. Now you have five. So Madeline Darling, and I'll read off some more to let you guys know which order I saw them in. So Madeline's got five. And Just Your Everyday Weird came after that, and Jolly Nanda, Anna Banana, Toy Box Fun, Amalia, Savannah, Kylie Sparkles, Madeline Darling again. And so let's see. <laughs> so um, Savannah Corin says she's 20 and she looks like she's 12. So she'd bet that, um, that I'm older than her. So I actually get mistaken for being anywhere between 14 and 16. So I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys just think about that for a little bit. So Nita says 25. I won't give you my exact age, but yeah, that's what I get. That's what I get told. You know, I get carded. Like if you buy like um, Sharpies at the store, you have to be 18. And so I've been carded for that. And like spray paint in California, you've got to be 18 for that. So and super glue that too <laughs> so there's a few things i've been carded for and i was like are you guys like really like i have to be carded and they're like yeah it's like okay here it is and they're like oh wow so um people think you're 12. oh wow savannah gets charged as if she's 12 to be in a movie and she's not 12. that's that's actually that's actually pretty nice i don't get charged the kids price for movies but so um i seen 24 well thank you guys thank you <laughs> Oh, you get carded by pain meds, pain meds like Tylenol. They do charge for certain pain medications, like um, ones that, um, like the Dayquil or Nyquil, the ones that have a certain chemical in it, because people can abuse the chemical and that's not good. So yeah, I know there's certain ones, but um, yeah, there you go. But I won't give you guys my exact age, but you guys can just guess. You can guess all you'd like. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too too short. I'm about five 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 six. So. 
All right, uh, next question. What Series 2 Little Sister LOL Surprise Doll in the Hip Hop Club is napping in Wave 2? I'm not 70. I'm not 70. It's okay, guys. It's really hard to it's really hard to get to me. Like it bothers me when people do stuff to other people, but to get to me like like people can say things to me and I just like Jojo says, you know, like I don't let the haters get away, but I've always been like that way before Jojo. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh what series 2 little sister LOL surprise doll in the hip hop club is napping in wave 2? And I see a couple. So the correct answer is Lil Shorty. So let's have a look. The Hip Hop Club is right here. And there you go. Napping. Oh. Napping is Lil Shorty. But thank you guys for, for rising to my defense. It's very sweet. So I'm going to scroll up just to make sure I don't miss anybody. BRB bathroom break. Yeah, my stream's going on for a while. Sorry, guys. Um... Let's see, I see Beats, Honey Bun, Beats, Little sh Lip Shorty, oh no! Beats, Honey Bun, Beats, Honey Bun, Honey Bun, Beats, Little Shorty. So just your everyday weird. We got that one, you were the first one with it. I am super, super hungry, guys. I, I was then just started thinking, like, I really miss... Um, there's a place in San Diego that I miss the fried rice from and then I was like oh but I really feel like Thai food too so I'm surprised my stomach isn't growling I was super hungry before I started and I didn't have time for a snack so all right next one is doo -doo -doo. oh no lip shorty no beats beats bun bun uh, beats <laughs> Uh, Toy Box Fun is 5'2", and you're 11? Oh wow, you might be tall. You've got a couple more years to grow. And then uh, Squeezy Toys said Little Shorty. So Squeezy Toys, that's S-Q-U-E-Z-Y instead of E-E-Z-Y, so Easy Toys. All right, so you've got one in there. So Squeezy Toys. And um, after that was Jojo Siwa Fan for Life, and then Savannah says she's 5'2 and 20, so there's one that's 5'2 and 11, and there's someone that's 5'2 and 20. And she says she's actually 5'1, but 5'1 and 3 quarters, so yeah, so like you round up. You just round up, you know, you're not gonna go, I'm 5'1 and 3 quarters, so if you're 5'1 and a half, then just go up, you're 5'2. But if you're under a half, then you go down. Because I mean, it's so small, it's so small. Oh no, Kylie Sparkles just got braces and is struggling to eat. I've never had braces. I still want to get braces. My teeth aren't bad, but I just like them to be like perfect. Like, I don't know. So, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll get braces. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, you know, it's going to pay off though. I've heard braces, some people say they're really painful, and other people say that they're not. They don't feel it at all. But um, I would imagine it would be. So, all right. My brother is 10 and he's 4'11. So I am 4'11 and I think almost 5. What do you mean you think you're almost 5? Five? 5 years old? I'm confused on that one. 13 and 5'8. Madeline Darling is tall. Anna Banana is 4'11 and she's 9. Oh, thank you very much, Amalia. You know, I was going to change it at the end of every month, but I love my bunnies. So I kept my bunnies up. So I had that blue with the white polka dots for a really long time. Oh, we're actually done with the question for this But, um, yeah, so I just, I wanted it. I wanted to keep it. So, but I do, I, I will eventually change it. So it circulates and gets around because I have a lot of different backgrounds and, and just decorations and stuff. So, all right, guys, we are on to the, <laughs> we are on to the next blind bag. So which one? We've only got three left. We've got the Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange, and Surprisimals. Which one shall we do? Kika's World uses the metric system there. She says she's one meter and 76 centimeters. I don't know how tall that is. So, um, 6'2 and 11 squeezy toys. Squeezy toys, you're 6'2 and 11 years old. Are you a boy or a girl? That's super tall for a girl. I've seen like boys that are super, super tall, 
but like for a girl, like wow, that's crazy. I know, and everybody probably tells you, oh, you're gonna play basketball, right? Because that's like just, everybody says when you're tall, they're like, they're, oh, you're gonna play basketball. Kylie Sparkles is 5'3 and 12, but one of the shortest in your class. Oh no. You know what? Short is being fine. But you are exactly the height you're supposed to be. So if you're short when other people are tall, you know, it just depends on who you stand next to, too. So my grandma's really short. I want to say she's just maybe, she's like four foot and something. She's like maybe four and a half feet. I can't remember. <laughs> she's really short, though. My poor grandma. I was teasing her about it yesterday. Oh, wow. Squeezy Toys is a girl in 6'2". Holy cow. That is super, super tall. You don't have to wear high heels. No high heels for you. They'll be so tall. Um, Savannah Corn's cousin is 6'4 and 15. Wow. Like this, you guys are just getting taller and taller. I'm happy with my 5'6". Happy with my 5'6". Oh, Anna Banana says bye. Bye, Anna Banana. All right, so surprisimals, and thank you for coming. Thanks, and thank you, Anna Banana. So surprisimals, um, this is a series eight ball. Um, there are, I don't know how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, plus a mystery maybe, so there's maybe 15 to collect. But um, for this one, let's see, I think I would like the shark. I would definitely like the mystery one. That little octopus is cute. I really like this pig. It reminds me of the one, I think it's Moana, that Disney movie. So that's really cute. The sloth is cute too. Um, I don't know. Maybe this. I think it's a hedgehog. Maybe it's a porcupine. But um, they do have holes on the bottom and on the top. The bottom usually always is covered by the checklist, but the top usually has one or two of the holes that you can see. Now, I didn't have a paper clip, so it was really hard for me to push it around, but um, I do see white fur. So there's a different number of them than it could be. It could be the shark, because I think the bottom is white. It could be, it is not likely that it's this, that that's showing the teeth on the walrus, but it could be this, this little hedgehog or porcupine. It could be the pig. It could be like the sloth or the unicorn on the little white parts of it, but I don't think it's any of those. I think it's this one. It's gonna be either this little hedgehog or the shark inside of this one. So yeah, the fur that's in there, that's white. So we'll see. But yeah, if you were trying to collect the whole thing, you know, Thank you for those holes because that does help. I have found the rare ones in there. Like that by using those. So here we go. Okay, it is the pig. So this is actually one that I was hoping for, so it worked out. Oh, uh, the tag is messed up. I don't like that. I like my tags to be nice. So I like my packages and tags to be nice. So there is the cute little piggy. And I thought the spots looked more like they were black, but they're brown. So, and the little iridescent glowing ball that it comes in. It's kind of like a Pokeball, it reminds me of. So it is Joseph Potbelly Pig. His antics are comical. Birthday is October 4th and his favorite color is sapphire blue. And then it's got it in like, I think French. So that is that. And our little piggy can just sit here while we have a look at the checklist. I'm pretty sure, okay, he's gonna lay down. He's tired, taking a nap. I'm pretty sure he's like a rare or something. Um, actually, look, there it is. It's the common is the blue, red is rare, purple or green is um, ultra rare, so he's an ultra rare. The yellow is limited edition, red is special edition, which is like pink. And then the blue is diamond edition. So it does have like all the different series on here, so if you ever lost your checklist, it does like have those for you to go back and look at. So there's series one. Series 2, Series 3, Series 4, Series 5, Series 6, Series 7, and here we are on Series 8, and yes, Joseph is right there, the green, so he is the Ultra Rare. And then they have these Special Edition ones, and then Diamond Editions, and I don't know what these came in. Still trying to figure that out. I always forget to look it up, but the um, Diamond Edition ones, that's interesting. I know they have like Christmas ones that come out, so I guess they don't have those ones on there. So that's a pretty good one. I didn't have that one yet. So, <laughs> all right, yeah, it is French. Ah, oh, Savannah says yes, it is French. Thank you, Savannah. That's what I thought because I do recognize Spanish and I do, I do recognize some French. So, um, yep, yeah, it was French, guys.
it just doesn't need to be there anymore. So we are showing, oops, sorry, another prize. Let's see what else I have here. So, okay, I had these and I haven't given away. So Play-Doh, if you guys like Play-Doh, there will be a little Play-Doh in there. This one is hot pink. So there you go, Play-Doh container. A little bit in there, you could create whatever you'd like. And we are on to our next three questions. Savannah can pick up on French. She's been studying it for like six years. I only did half a year of French in school. So, all right, here we go. What is the name of Thor's axe? So not his hammer, So I had a weird name. I was gonna ask that, but it was really hard. So what is the name of Thor's axe? So um, this was on my website. What is the name of Thor's axe? All right, I see one, I see two, I see three. All right, so the correct answer is Stormbreaker. So the first one that I saw get in there was Jojo Siwa Fan for Life. So there you are. And after Jojo Siwa Fan for Life, she said it, she said a different name, and then Stormbreaker, then a different name, then Kelly Sparkle said Axie. Nope. <laughs> uh, Madeline Darling said Stormbreaker, but Madeline, I believe we've got the five in there, yep. And then Toy Box Fun said Stormbreaker. So Toy Box Fun. And that's uh, entry number two for you. So after Toy Box Fun, I see um, Savannah, Corin, then Amalia, then Jojo Siwa Fan for Life again, then Nita, and then um, I don't know what that word is, so I won't try to read it. So yeah, Savannah Corin, yeah, I like that. It's like a good nickname. I can see how he was in this movie, how Thor was. That's kind of like, I could see him calling it that. But um, yeah, so. All right, um, next question. And this, if you guys follow JoJo on her social medias, then you probably saw this, or you had to have seen it. Um, she, she posted a lot about it. So this is based on that. In what store did JoJo recently visit and get her own candy shop in? So they already had this in the store, but they renamed it to be JoJo's Candy Shop. So in what store was that? What store did JoJo go to? Sorry, Amalia, it didn't show on my end that, that way. So just keep trying though. When you play back the video though, it does show it the way that I read it out, so. <laughs> All right, so again, the question was, in what store did Jojo recently visit and get her own candy shop in? And let me see, let's see, one, two, three. Okay, so I see it. The correct answer is Party City. So um, she went to Party City and they named their big old area where they have like a gumball machine that's not a gumball machine, it's got some balls in it, but uh, yeah, they named it JoJo's uh, Candy Shop. So first one that I see is do, 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 Savannah Corin. do you have, yep, you've got five. So the next one, I see Target, Target. Wow, I typed that fast, yeah. You did, you were the first one in there. And then Nita, okay, I'm gonna have to, Look at it while I spell it, but Nita got it. So N I D A A M U N T A S E R. Nita Montaser. Montaser. I want to say Taser because of the last part, but it's probably a sir. So Nita, that is two for you. And after Nita, I see Part Ah, Part City. No. And Jolly Nanda has Party City. So um, Jolly. Nanda. Right? Did I spell it right? I think. Yes. I'm Jolly Nanda. So that's number two for you. And after that, I see Toy Box Fun and Kelly Sparkles. Then Just Your Everyday Weird. Then I see Just Your Everyday at Walmart. Oh, sorry. What's the question? She had a candy shop and a fan meetup. Yep. Yep. So, um, <laughs> she knows her JoJo stuff. She's a big Dance Moms fan. Yeah. Um, I know that they're they're doing that. They're bringing that back or something. I read something about that. I haven't been able to keep up on a lot of stuff lately. I'm always super busy and I always add more to what I'm doing and I just, I run out of time. But yeah, I tried. 
So, all right, here, this is one on my website. Which LOL Surprise doll in the Bling series has hearts on her stockings? So here you go. For all you guys who are answering this one, here's the question. Which LOL Surprise doll in the Bling series has hearts on her stockings? <laughs> yep, it is that one. I know, everybody hears like the first couple and they're like, oh, I know what it's going to be. And then, yeah, it changes. So I have a couple for like each each checklist and so it can be tricky if you're looking for the one that I had on the website. So alright, I see a few and let's see if I get some more. <laughs> yep, 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 they'll be guessing that later, uh-huh. And alright, so I see a few answers then, alright. So the correct answer is Heartbreaker. She is the one that has hearts on her stockings. Um, the first one to get that in there was Savannah, but she's got the five. And then Kylie Sparkles, she also has five, but then Anjali Nanda, so she's got that. So A-N-J-A-L-I, oh, okay, well that's gonna become an N, N-A-N-D-A. So your name's all together right now, but we've got it, we know who it is. So that's number three for you. And then after it is, um, just your everyday weird, do you have five yet or no? Let me double check. Um, where is your name right there? Nope, you don't. So there you go, just your everyday weird. Alright, there you go. So we are on to our next blind bag. That was our three. I'll read a few more after just your video. It was Toy Box Fun, Squeezy Toys, Amalia, and Squeezy Toys said she does. So, all right, um, that is our last one on that card. But we've got the Captain Marvel and then the Doctor Strange left. So, which one? We've got these two. Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange. All right, Captain Marvel it is. So, um, Captain Marvel Collector's Keyring. You guys know the trick with this. There's no hole, so you can't see, and the keychain is covered in cardboard, but you can always feel around it or pull the thing out. I believe this one is Goose. So, I really wanted Goose. I felt around, and I believe I feel ears. So, fingers crossed that's what it is, and we'll see if I'm right. But here's all the different ones you can collect. Got Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel in the Star Force, and then Nick Fury, Yon Rog, I don't know, Goose the Cat, Talos. I don't know, I've seen the movie, but I don't know if I'm saying the names right. So Agent Colson, Maria Rambu. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm saying that. Ronin, an exclusive A, an exclusive B. It's gotta be another Captain Marvel figure, and then I'm not sure who this might be. Maybe another one of him. So we'll see if I'm right and got Goose, because I like Goose. I've got two Funko Pops of Goose, and I've got one, oh, I don't want to spoil it in case anybody hasn't seen it, but it's Goose, you guys. I guessed good. So really cute. I love it. So a little cat. I mean, it's an animal too, so it's a plus, but I love the character in the movie. So Goose, and on his tag, his name, a really clear print. So very nice keychain, very durable. They did change from the metal key rings, which I'm still bummed about, but... You know, this is pretty good, so good quality, but it does swivel too, so you don't have to put it on like the right way. If you just put it on and it's backwards, you can just turn it around on here. So it will face the correct way. But again, these I just would never hang on like keys that I'm gonna um, like use a lot because it will get dirty. And I bet a magic eraser would take it off, but I don't know to what extent it might eventually just keep the stain in there. But really cute and you guys just hang it or you could like cut this off and use this little figure but don't do that without parents permission I don't want to get in trouble for encouraging that so I like the keychain it is very cute so if you're looking for goose then good luck feel for the ears all right uh, next prize what do we have okay well I had one of these I opened up not on my stream but um, I just thought I would just give it away so um, I got this chick because I don't collect them so it's the, I think it, she was like the bad guy, right? Eventually first. And there she is, and then here's her little critter. So it comes with a little thing. So these two come together and they will be in the prices. So there you go, they came from that little um, pod one. 
That's a hard one. I've had you guys vote on it. It never gets picked, but there we go. All right, so three questions and it's time. So, what My Little Pony is keeper of the loyalty element of harmony? Madeline Darling's cat looks like goose. Do a series three confetti pop, please. What the question? I don't have, those ones aren't on my checklist today. I've got two different checklists, well three, if you count the little sisters. But um, yeah, so. All right, which My Little Pony is keeper of the loyalty elements of harmony? Loyalty, which My Little Pony is loyal? Ooh, we're getting a lot of different answers here. Let's see if I can get two that are correct. Haven't seen two yet. I've seen one. All right, keep guessing, guys. I only have one so far. Double checking. All right, nope, just see the one. And then let's see, all right, I do have two now. All right, so the correct answer is Rainbow Dash. So any keeper of the element of harmony is one of those main six My Little Ponies. So Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, Applejack, Fluttershy, Rarity, and um, Pinkie Pie. So they are the main keepers of the element of harmony. So it's gonna be one of those. And Rarity, we already had the question earlier, she is the one for generosity. And Rainbow Dash is the loyalty element. Um, I think it's kindness or friendship. I can't, I can't remember which one Fluttershy is, but I can remember. It's a little butterfly. It's the pink one. But um, Twilight Sparkle is magic. And, you know, now that I'm trying to tell you guys about it, while, when you guys were guessing, I was, like, thinking of them. I'm like, no, that's so-and-so, that's so-and-so. But now I can't think of them. But, yeah, it's Rainbow Dash. So, going back up, there's a lot, so I'm going to look through them all. Applejack, Pinkie Pie, Applejack, Princess Celestia, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, Just Your Everyday Weird. So, all right, you've got another one in there. Just Your Everyday Weird. And that's four for you. So, after Just Your Everyday Weird, I see Princess Twilight, Applejack, um, Princess Twilight, Twilight, Rainbow Dash, Faith, Martineau. So you were the next one. Martineau. So faith. All right. There you go. Next question. Fluttershy is kindness and Pinky is laughter. All right. So, all right, here we go. What is Lord Voldemort's birth name? So the first and last, and they're easy to spell. So let's spell them right. So what is Lord Voldemort's birth name? Oh, no name calling, please. All right, so what is Lord Voldemort's birth name? First and last name, guys. First and last name. See, a lot of people got that first name. And spell it right, guys. All right, so um, the first one to get, I see a lot of people put Tom. I was looking for Tom Riddle. So the first one to get Tom Riddle was Just Your Everyday Weird. So that is your fifth one. Oh. Your every day weird. And there you go. Next one, I did see Tom from a lot of people. So if anybody put Riddle, I see Tom Riddle. That one's not spelled right. But then, okay, I see Riddle by itself. So between your first comment and your second comment, see Ella the Bet put Tom, and then she put Riddle. So Ella the Bet. You've got Tom in one and then Riddle in the other before anybody else. So, Ella Thabet. And I believe that's number one for you. Double checking, but. Oh no, that's two for you. My bad. I saw your name up here. 
All right, so two on there. After that, I see Nanjali Nanda, then Elizabeth did do Tom Riddle all together, then Madeline Darling, then Amalia, Toy Box Fun, Bonnie Bellinger, um, Tom Morvolo Riddle. Morvolo was his middle name. So, yep, there we go. Um, and we are on to our next question. This one was actually on my website. So here we go. What is the sixth planet from the sun? And spelling for this one, guys. So what is the sixth planet from the sun? You gotta guess it first to be first. That's why I, I do it like this, so that way it keeps it fair. So what is the sixth planet from the sun? And spelling, definitely. So I see Mars, nope, not Mars, but then I see the correct answer, and that answer is Saturn, spelled S-A-T-U-R-N. So first one is Nida Montessor. So N-I-D, is it N-I-D-A-A? I think so. D-A-A, yep. A-A. M-U-N-T-A-S-E-R. So, all right, Nita, that's number three for you. And after that, I see Saturn, but that one's not spelt right. Sorry, guys. And Mars, Venus, Mars, then Saturn from Madeline Darling. Do you have, yep, you have five there. So then Toy Box Fun. See, oh, all right. So Toy Box Fun was the next one in there. So Toy Box Fun. So that's three for you. And after Toy Box Fun, I see Madeline Darling again. Then um, I see Neptune, Saturn from Amalia, and Anjali said Saturn. And then um, <laughs> it's funny because it blocked this planet. Um, I think I might have that one on my thing. It's blocked. So Squeezy Toys, just keep trying. Don't give up. Don't give up. So. Um, Yep, sorry, sorry, I read it in the way that it comes to me, guys. So um, that was our third question, and we have the one blind bag, which is the Doctor Strange dog tag. So um, these I found at Target, they're from Bullseye Toy, and I've told you guys a few times that they had like these specials on certain blind bags. So they came in a box, it was packaged different than I know that it regularly was in. It's like a black and orange or gold box, like black and gold or black and orange. And it says spotlight savings and they're only a dollar so really really good deal i know that i opened up the um captain of the universe or no no, no guardians of the galaxy why did i think captain of the universe i was like mixing two movies but yeah and i got that um root sticker really really cute so and then that glittery dog tag or the special one so we'll see what one i got in here i also really like him too the movie like the whole thing has so much going on the new one so, all right, we got a sticker. This is sticker 20 of 48 for Doctor Strange. I actually don't really remember the movie, like his individual movie, all that much. So I need to go watch it again. And here is our dog tag. So I'll take it out. And this is tag number 10 of 48. It's got him opening up some portal of time or something and then on the back 10 of 48 so there you go not super fancy on the tag but it is right there so that's a lot there are 24 different ones to collect which one would I have liked the most hmm I don't know I really like this character so, I think I like this one. I'm not sure. This one's also really cool. It's kind of galaxy-like. I was thinking that maybe they had like a sparkly tags, but they don't. They don't have anything like that. Oh, that one's really cool too. I don't know why I missed that. So that's really cool. I also like this. That's like his normal stance, his pose. So, it looks like the backs are all the same on him. And over there, so let's collect them all. 3D dog tags. So it doesn't look like there's any different kind of um, thing to them. And then doesn't show the stickers. So it's kind of a more simpler one. So they didn't go into as much detail as, the, as this one as they did the other ones. So 
There is our Doctor Strange dot tag. I don't know if I'll keep that yet. I'll be asking a friend if they want it. If they don't, then it will go to you guys. So, here you go. Um, all right, here is our last little prize in there. I thought it was cute. Number one fan, it's just a little finger one piece. I thought it was cool and I just threw that in there. So, somebody likes that so you can grab it. But we are on to our last three questions and you guys are making me hungry. You guys are making me so hungry. I actually don't like pasta. <laughs> I like, I kind of like pasta, but it depends on the sauce. So, spaghetti sauce. French bread pizza. Ooh, that sounds good though. But all right, here we go. Last three questions. Name the three LOL Surprise Series 2 Big Sisters with flower headbands. So there's three of them that have flower headbands. So I hope you guys have your checklist because you're probably going to need it for this one unless you can remember, which when I'm thinking about it, I can remember, but I think it, I would definitely need help. So the three LOL Surprise Series 2 Big Sisters with flower headbands. So there's three, three big sisters that have flower headbands. Which three big sisters are they? So I'm not sure who Coco is. I've seen that a lot, but um, yeah, no, Coco's not one and Flower Girl isn't either. I think you guys are thinking of the um, Go Go Girl who's a series three doll. So there's three different ones. Let's see. All right, all right, I see, I see one. All right, so I see one, one person's got it, and then you corrected two, so good job there. I was gonna say, oh no! Oh, I think someone copied one, so let's see. Alright, so I see one, two, let me make sure because I think that one person has five, so... Alright, the correct answers were Sugar Queen, Coconut Cutie, and Midnight. So all they were, that's what you guys mean by Coco. Okay, so yeah, I need Coconut Cutie. So, um, yeah, those three have headbands that have flowers. So the first one, okay, is Just Your Everyday Wear. She said Sugar Queen, Coconut, WT, and Midnight. But below, just a few comments below, she did correct it, and that is also before anybody else got the complete answer. So, just your everyday weird, oh, actually you have five on there. So I will have to go to, let's see, Sugar Queen, Coconut, Cutie, and Midnight. Does Kylie Sparkles have five yet? Oh yeah, you don't, you have five too. So, let's see. Um, Sugar Queen, Midnight, and Coconut, Cutie. Um, what about Flower Child? No, she's um, not a series two, and I believe Flower Child is she like, is that even one? Flower Child is she like a new one? Maybe like an I Spy series. I'm not too familiar with the I Spy series, but this is series two ones. So Sugar Queen Midnight and Coconut Cutie. Sorry, because this is a little bit difficult. I'll um. I'll not do the spelling on this one, even though they are words we should know. But, alright, so, just to get this one done, we've got Coconut Cutie Flower, okay, no, I'm not going to take that one. Sugar Queen Midnight, and Flower Girl Coconut Midnight, Midnight, Sugar Queen Midnight, Coconut Cutie. So, Ella the Bet, I'll take that one. So, Ella the Bet. And Ella, let's see, that's number three, Anya. And then for the other one, after Ella the Bet, I see Coconut Cutie, Sugar Queen, and Midnight from Faith Martineau. Okay, so Faith, that's two for you. And we are on to our next question. This one was not on this site. So, what about Flower Child? Flower Child, I'll show you guys the checklist too. So, in this one, this is the Series 2 checklist. Um, right here in the Glitterati, Sugar Queen has a flower headband. Nobody here, nobody here. Right here, Coconut Cutie has a flower headband. And then, nobody here, nobody here. 
nobody here and I don't see any um, flower child but midnight here is the other one she has a flower headband so there's no flower child that I see on this checklist and nobody else has a headband that's made of flowers so those were the three that I was looking for so um, all right uh, next question what is the name of Thor's father Flower Child is Series 3. Is it Flower Child? Is she a Series 3? I thought it was um, called Go Go Girl. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll have to look now. It does sound familiar, but then when I think about it, I'm always thinking of Go Go Girl as the Flower Child, because that's what she looked like. So um, the question is, what is the name of Thor's father? And I won't get you on spelling on this one, because I didn't write it on my thing on my website, but let's see. Uh, first one in there, the correct answer is Odin, and it's actually spelled O-D-I-N, but I will take the O-D-E-N because, yeah, that's one of those names that it could have been spelled something different. So, I see Madeline Darling was the first one in there, but she does have the five, so <laughs> Kylie Sparkle says, Mr. Thor, Jojo Siwa fan for life says Odin, and yep, you got it, Jojo. Siwa fan for life. You got it. And the next one is um see Madeline Darling, but you do have the the five in there and and Jolly Nanda. Let me see. Oh okay, yeah, you got it. It's Odin for Anjali Nanda. So in and Jolly Nanda. Oop. Pen says no more ink for you. And there you go. And I'll keep on reading off in the order that I see them. After and Jolly was Ella, then Squeezy Toys, then Just Your Everyday Weird, then Amalia, then Jojo Siwa Fan for Life, then Madeline Darling, then Nita, then Madeline Darling again, then Ella the Bet said Aton, um, then Jojo Siwa Fan for Life, and then yeah, there was. There was a lot more, but um, Squeezy Toys, you came in about one, two, three, four, five, six. You came in six there, so it's the first two that I take for that. So, um, but I do have one more question left. So if you guys are ready, get your fingers. So um, here we go. This one was actually on my site. What is the name of the cat Pokemon that speaks English who is on Team Rocket? So what is the name of the cat Pokemon that speaks English who is on Team Rocket? So all right, I see a couple, let's see. All right, so the correct answer is Meowth. And the first one to get it was Jojo Siwa Fan for Life. And the next person to get it was Madeline Darling twice, but she's got the five. So after Madeline was ALDC Clips. Oh, there you guys. K L D C flips. And I'll read off a few more just so you guys know what order I saw them in. After that, I say Anjali Nanda, then Ella the Bet, then Savannah Corin, then Madeline Darling, then Amalia, then Toy Box Fun, then Nita, then Just Your Everyday Weird, ALDC Clips, Squeezy Toys, ALDC Clips, M Amalia, and then some more. So, uh, yeah, there you go. So that is all the questions that I have for you today. If you got your name entered in here, um, but you don't win today, I do have the second drawing at the end of the month where I draw three winners from anybody who's earned an entry or gotten an entry in in the month of May. I also included the one that was in the end of April because it was on a Tuesday, but it already was after my Saturday stream. That was the end of the month one. So those will also be in there. But um, I will draw one winner right now and then we will wrap it up. So. Good luck to everyone that's in there. Anyone that didn't, I am so sorry. Don't give up, keep trying. This is all meant for fun. We do open up the blind bags and I have fun talking to you guys and asking you questions and having you guys guess. So it's just a little 
fun thing. So good luck to everybody. One name, guys. Kylie Sparkles. Congratulations. You are two days live stream winner. So um, do not put any of your information in the chat there. You can contact me through my email address, sugarbunnyhops at gmail.com, or um, direct message me on Instagram. The same as my YouTube name, at sugarbunnyhops. So you are this week's winner. Congratulations. Um, you've got the choice between the 15 prizes, one JoJo bow, or um, one of those new squishies that I've added if you're in the US. And then if you're not, then the Amazon gift cards. So congratulations, Kylie Sparkles. Thank you very, very much for all your support. And thank you to everybody else that's in there too. Um, like I said, I will be putting those in the thing. Um, I do also have this I forgot to show you. So this is going to be closing up once I um, end my live stream. Um, these are up for grabs. All you had to do is comment something sweet on my 427 live stream, which was last Saturday's. So these will be given away today. I'll announce the winner shortly after my stream. And next up, I have for you guys these Minnie and Mouse and Friends 3 Puffy stickers. So um, these are what you get to win next week. There's two different sheets. Well, they're two two sheets, but they're the same. So look at, they've got a thumper one. I want to take it out so bad. And there's another thumper one. So yeah, it's really cute. And there's a couple being blocked by the warning, but it's like a, a little worm or no, it's a candy and then headphones and a little turtle. So none of the main characters, but yeah, I thought these are really cute. Again, they're puppy stickers, candies and little cute characters. So, I mean, they've got two thumpers. So these are like, this is a win. So this is a this is a good one. I thought it was good. So um, I'll let you guys know what you have to comment on this video once it posts. Um, so I'll just post on the community tab of my um, YouTube channel as well as my um, my social media accounts: Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And so if you don't, because I know a lot of people can't see the stuff that are um, on the community tab of my channel if you're on a tablet, like an iPad or something. But if you go to my website at www.sugarbunnyhops.com you can go to the drop down menu it says Instagram and you can see all my Instagram posts so you don't have to sign up for Instagram or have it or anything but you can at least see my posts so um, I post a lot more on there than the community tab of my channel but I do post the same things to both when um, it's on the community tab so I'll post everything from the community tab onto Instagram and them but not everything from Instagram onto that if that makes sense so um, yeah, so these will be up for grabs and I'll let you guys know the winners of the um, the bands. And then I did post the winners for the um, bows and I, for the custom JoJo bows. And I'm thinking maybe I'll do another JoJo custom bow. I don't know yet. So maybe you guys could give me ideas of what the custom could look like or something, or maybe an outfit that you'd want me to do of. So, cause I like, I had fun making them. So I'd like to do another one of those, I think. But yeah, just let me know. So um, yeah, um, I hope you guys had fun. I had fun and don't forget, I will post on the community tab if we should do the next stream Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday of next week. Cause I know things change from week to week but I'll just do one in the middle of the week whenever um, it's best for most people. And um, yeah, so probably about the same time, maybe about three um, Pacific Standard Time. It'll be like six on the East Coast, so maybe people can only stay for a little bit if they're back there or whatever. But it does give the people on the, the West Coast time to get home from school and stuff. So I don't expect anybody to be able to be there the whole time unless you just don't have school anymore. Some people maybe don't. I don't know. But yeah, there you go. So congratulations, Kelly Sparkles. Contact me. And don't forget, I do have the drawing at the end of the month, the last Saturday before the month ends for all the names, I save them up. And I think I've pretty much covered everything. So yeah, you can guys can comment your ideas um, on this video too for the next JoJo giveaway. So I'll re I read every comment. So I don't have time to like respond to everyone, but know that I appreciate them and I do read them all. So um, I do my best, but it would just take me forever and I'd never have anything done. So yep, um, that's it. And we're all done for today. So have a great rest of your weekend and Thanks for coming. Bye guys.